Are we good? Are we good? Hi. Hello. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name's Rytro with an underscore. I got two beautiful people behind me. Hi, I'm Bloodshot9001. Hi, I am Meta. And I have one more that you will not see. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Hugo Martin. I was the creative director on Doom 2016, game director on Doom Eternal. I'm a studio creative director at id Software. I'm actually at id Software right now. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Just Woo! hanging out, watching you guys uh, break our game. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, thank you very much for stopping by, Hugo. Let us start the run. We're going to load into UAC, the first that, level. What? Is that the same bloodshot that I know? Yes, <laughs> like, it is. One. We can, we can, we can <laughs> catch up during the cutscene, but let's get into famous. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get hyped I don't think up. I've ever actually seen you. Oh. <laughs> Glad you can see me now. <laughs> well, it's one sided. <laughs> uh, let's rip and tear King Novik. Let's get up. We're going to have a very bad hangover and wake up about right now. Time will start when I grab the pistol. I will count down. This guy is going to make a bad decision real quick. <laughs> All right. Timer begins in three, two, one, and go. Good luck, Rytro. So very quickly, I'm actually skipping the, oh, look at my pistol. It's so cool animated <laughs> by shooting. And here we're introduced to the main antagonist of the game, Olivia. To which, if I stand right here. <laughs> yep, okay, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's a view. <laughs> So, uh, we have oh, like oh. about two minutes of cutscenes coming in here. So, Hugo, could you tell us exactly what was your role when uh, producing and making Doom 2016? Uh, it's basically like the, uh, you know, creative director, you do gameplay story, kind of like a game direction of the overall experience. Um, they had rebooted it in uh, 2013, it's covered in the. Uh, the documentary No Clip, and uh, I came on in 2013 when they had just started the reboot. <laughs> uh, I was there throughout the development of the project, really fun, awesome experience, great team, great people. Most of us are all still working together today. Oh. And uh, yeah, a lot of work went into uh, into this game. A lot of, lot of uh, great memories working on this. It really shows. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think this is a classic almost as much as the original is. Mm -hmm. uh, people still talk about it, you and, know, and they will be. And for, for those time. who don't know, people on my couch, real quick, Bloodshot9001 is an eternal speedrun legend, ran twice at GDQ before, and Meta is a very talented Doom 2016 and all rounds, just FPS speedrunner and more. <laughs> but yeah, uh, going into this, I'm going to take bets, opening <laughs> all rotations now. Do I die in this next fight? I say no. You I haven't died no. a single now, time this in this. Now, this is a this. big meme because we are introduced to our most hated enemy of the run, the Imp. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the Imp the most hated? It's literally the first enemy introduction. Well, these guys, uh, they hit hard on Nightmare. They are the weakest fodder enemy, and their fully charged fire attack, which we call a hit scan fireball, does 75 damage if direct hit, and it uh, it hurts. And it, we call it a hit scan fireball specifically because it's so fast it might as well be hit scan. Uh, we're going to have to deal with all this. Um, normally, you would do not do this fight on Ultra Nightmare. However, on Nightmare, you cannot skip the introduction sequence. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, so right through. So there's a little background story on that projectile. Uh, we, we, we put a lot of effort in Doom Eternal to try to improve this. Uh, we, in order to increase the difficulty from, from uh, you know, I'm too young to die all the way up to Nightmare, we increased the prediction and the seeking on the projectile. So, as you guys know, it's basically like a heat-seeking missile, which, <laughs> you know, in hindsight, isn't exactly fun when, when you kind of can't avoid it in some instances. So you'll notice that uh, Nightmare on Doom Eternal, a little bit more fair. Uh, you don't quite get hit with as many heat-seeking projectiles. Yeah. Um, I think I speak for everyone when I agree that Eternal does make that a little bit more fair. But before we get into more of this, we are meeting Samuel Hayden here, who always had the better than mankind's guaranteed. Uh, I'm just going to let this cutscene play because yeah. it's honestly one of the most hype cutscenes, an uh, introduction to a video game I've ever seen. But it is worth the risk. I assure you. 
best title screen. I swear. <laughs> People say Eternals is, but I prefer this one. Honestly, I, I still love the subtle humor uh, of uh, of betterment of mankind and looking at it. I like dead both body. of them. So I much work went into what you just saw, uh, uh, getting yes. it all to sync like that. I have never seen uh, a voiceless protagonist with so much like. Personality, personality, and yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, whoever animated Doom Guy's body parts in this game, like next level. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go into the first combat outside of the elevator. It's gonna be a really tough combat, very much filled with RNG and O. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> uh, that's called a rail boost. Um, and if you want to know what that's founded at, it actually doesn't correspond to the boost at all. It's actually named after one of a, a member of the community named Edward Rail Boost. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yes. this is 100%. Why are, uh, aren't we supposed to do combat? Ah, thank you, Bloodshot, for the and very informative question like I directed them to do. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, totally not planned. Uh, <laughs> basically, combat is not tracked until the third level of the game, so every combat encounter is practically optional. The first two levels, which will be UAC and ResOps, are primarily just running around, grabbing collectibles, and getting to the ends. Yeah, so here in UAC, we only have collectibles. In the next level, uh, resource operations, we're going to get challenges. And in the third level, we're going to get combat rating. And then from then on, we have to do everything. And yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lit. It's going to be really hard to keep track of, except for Rytro. According to our be the best speedrunner on the leaderboards of Doom 2016, Olivia Pierce, the <laughs> game does not begin until about 40 minutes in. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, oh, go ahead, Hugo. Another thing that, uh, in hindsight, we would have loved to have done is to allow you guys to skip some of these unskippable, unskippable cutscenes. Right. My apologies. Oh, <laughs> uh, both we thank you, and also You're it's, forgiven. It's, <laughs> it hurts a little because because we can't skip those cutscenes. That actually leads to some very creative skips in order to skip those cutscenes later. It is true. Uh, I'm going to grab this toy. Grabbed it. Oh, yeah. that's a good we, grab. Yeah, yeah. We grabbed it. Yep. Nice toy. <laughs> For those wondering, uh, you don't need to. Oh, oh. No, 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 <laughs> nothing happens. Nothing happens. It's all good. It's all this good. This is hilarious. A um, uh, little little uh, background in info: the uh, punching of the mod bot. He used to shock you and like not. He, originally, the full animation was he wouldn't give you. Uh, what you needed it was like malfunctioning or you didn't put in the code and then you punched it to take what you wanted <laughs> uh, to shorten to shorten the experience we just left in the punch because uh needing to go through that bit while it was funny the first time by the third time uh, you right. wanted to punch it but we just left in the punch all part. right yeah we, i love it while hugo while you were explaining that we skipped the last combat encounter by jumping over a trigger and now we have to wait as vega explains to us all about things about the combat but um i have different plans uh, uh come on there nice. we are. <laughs> very nice <laughs> for people who don't know that room specifically has a door underneath and if you look at just the right spot you can actually interact with it from the locked room so yeah. we grab the door and then grab some collectibles while Vega rambles on and on. Yeah, we're lucky that opening doors teleports you into the animation of, like, ripping it open. Shoutouts to my homie Edward. <laughs> I'd like to try to name the people who worked on this, but I'm going to screw it up. I think Dorian, uh, I forget his last name, Soto, I think, uh, worked on this. I think, uh, I know Jerry Connell, uh, uh, Jerry Keehan worked on some of this. I think on the intro you just saw, Brandon Souders did some of that. I'm um, pretty sure Jason O'Connell did some of this work as well. So there's so many incredible uh, people contributed to this. I will do my best to try to uh, remember all of the who did what stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we awesome. get a shout out in the crowd to the devs real quick? Yeah. Absolutely. Thank Developers interacting with the speed. I want to. Am I we, right? Like. Yeah. We will take this opportunity to thank its Software because regardless of everything, they made some pretty darn fun games. They so, really did. And that's really what's important. Uh, we just got introduced to our antagonist again, Olivia. Top 10 game facts you don't know. She believes in honesty. You don't know how many times we have to hear that. Now, right... So she is, uh, she is based on the character uh, from Michael Clayton. Uh, there is uh, Tilda Swinton's character in Michael Clayton was the inspiration for uh, Olivia Pierce. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just did some totally intentional platforming there, uh, <laughs> basically to get on top of an invisible wall and to get to the secret level that we pulled the lever for. Which while is Vega was rambling on. Quite difficult, by the way. Yeah, you can see I kind of effed it up a little bit there, but we're fine now. We're actually going to get into the first combat, people. Hello. <laughs> Uh, so basically, we need to grab this collectible, kill these few imps coming here. Okay, he got he got away. I'll let him get away. And that was a good combat. I'm out of here. I and like the explosive barrels in Doom 2016 more than Doom Eternal. I think there's just a, a little bit more screen shake, there's a little bit more polish on them. I think they look really good. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Well, so we just went out of bounds, <laughs> and one might notice that there's not a zombie there. Because we took that rail boost route out of that arena, we actually skip uh, the trigger to load in that zombie, so we just get a floating key card and a not-so-scary jump scare. <laughs> yeah, so this game has... This is incredible, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game has a demon cap. You're bypassing such an enormous amount of work. It's, it's uh, fascinating. <laughs> you should have required us to do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, unfortunately, because, you know, we're, speed's the, the goal here. We want to just, oh god, uh, tr that is a that very is crowded area. Yeah, <laughs> I am not at all scared. No fear. Uh, yeah, we're picking up one of our new friends, the plasma rifle, uh, getting out of here. And now here's another Gornest fight that we can skip by jumping to this little ledge. Oh, yeah, we call this uh, skate park skip. I believe. Hugo, during development, this arena was known as like the skate park, right? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's that? I believe this arena was referred to as the skate park, right? I, I can't hear him. I can only hear the... Okay, that's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just a little bit of marathon RNG Very nice, manipulation. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's some tricky parkour, yeah. I shouldn't need applause for that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just picked up Heat Blast. What, uh, yeah, sorry, what was that you guys? playing. What is your name again? Ritro? Ritro, yes. Hi. Ritro, yes. I can hear Ritro. I can okay. hear a little bit of Bloodshot. And, uh, and I can hear the other gentleman. All oh, right. Nice. Well, we should be fine for now as tech gets that settled, I hope. Uh, yeah, no worries. We can continue. But, yeah, we uh, basically are grabbing everything to get out of here. We actually just picked up a weapon mod called Heat Blast. No, normally, if you watch any cat Hold on. I need to get hit real quick. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Nope, nobody. I accidentally made... Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, you got hit. <laughs> All right. In my defense, people, I do have cheats installed for marathon safety, and I may have just accidentally hit my no clip. Um, oh, hey, back here again. This is going to be fun. <laughs> don't, first try. First try. First try. I don't want to... Uh, yeah, uh, I actually need to get hit there, because if you don't take any damage, uh, you can't act direct with a health station. Because of 100%, you are required to get all the codices, so that includes the um, health station codex. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so we actually routed taking oh. damage here. I'm just going to... They need to trigger the demons there, so... Yeah. Here. Oh, I got ooh. hit by two fireballs at once. I don't <laughs> think there's much I could have done about that. That kind of shows yeah, why. Apologies. That shows why imps are such a like a such a threat on a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. those those fastballs are nasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear you guys are really good right now. Uh, oh, awesome! Yeah. How about uh, because I'm backtracking a little? Could we get a donation, Joker? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely! I can, hear, I can hear all three of you guys really well. Okay. All right, we do have $50 here from Virgo Red Wolf, who says, there is never enough doom. Doom. You got time for one more? Yeah, one more. All right, we got $50 from $100 Man. There was a, uh, a big they discussion say, oh. uh, during development about the airlocks oh. and whether or not it made sense that you would walk out onto the surface of Mars. And... Uh, Ultimately, we decided, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, Completely fair. <laughs> all right. I should not go for this knowing how bad that jump gave me, but I'm actually going to do another rail boost here. 
Oh. Oh, you got the. I got the yeah. ghost glitch. So okay, this happens sometimes when you do input buffer rail boost setups. Um, I don't know exactly what causes it, yeah. but essentially your gun just disappears. You can't interact with anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just call it the buffer button. Yeah, Edward, <laughs> Edward's middle name was uh, was uh, buffer. So. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, just a little bit more on that. You see how f obviously how fast you move in Doom and. You know, you're, you're ripping through the space. Waiting on airlocks every time you wanted to go outside uh, proved to be uh, extremely frustrating. <sighs> that is the first time I missed that boost. I've never gotten a boost that week before. <laughs> Oof. All right, well, after all everything that just happened, I, I have to, I have to at least award the crowd a little treat and let this animation play out. Of course, okay. yeah. <laughs> Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to do another rail boost quickly after that, and we are out of bounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So normally you have to align that satellite in order to understand what's happening on Mars, because we don't know. We kind of just busted out of the coffin. Didn't really know what's going on. We just had one mission that was kill demons. Uh, but now we're about to get all of the answers answered. Answers answered, yep. Uh, the Slayer asks no questions. He acts. I'm going to say, is there even really anything else to know other than there's demons? That's true. Uh, it's kind of the uh, answer. You'd be surprised <laughs> with how, like, I, I'm not going to lie. Doom 2016's plot is actually very decent. I got to give a, a hands to the writers for their remarkable job making the dialogue for uh, Samuel Hayden, Olivia, I, everybody. Yeah, I think... I, I, I wrote it. You wrote it? Wait, did wow. you write the yeah. dialogue specifically? Or... Uh, yeah. You wow. Did, wow. Okay, well, thank you. Great job. <laughs> thank you, Hugo. Yeah, I like everything. Yeah, I will say both uh, Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal do a fantastic job of not, like, shoving the lore in your face, but leaving a lot of it in, like, uh, the codices and stuff for you to discover. All right, so this is uh, a required two-minute cutscene in order to get an Argent Cell from Samuel Hayden. Normally, you'd be able to skip this if we were running 100% Classic, but if the skip in order to do this, we'd have to dupe an Argent Cell later, and we can't dupe on Ultra Nightmare because we can't load checkpoint. By the, by the way, if possible, I don't mind that I can't hear the game, and actually, I can hear you guys better when I can't hear the game, so anybody working the oh, tech awesome. stuff, yeah. all right. if they all right. need the game from you, that's so, all good. I have, to, I have to come clean. I have an admission crowd. I... There was no community member named Edward Railboost. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. What? Can you believe this? No. So rail boosting gets its name actually from a mechanic called foot grabbing. Now, this is an accessibility feature in games to where if you barely miss a ledge, like if you were trying to aim for that rail, but you were like right here, you, as a fault of human psychology, felt like you should have made the jump. But because you fell, you're just like, oh, man, crap game, can't, doesn't even jump well. So what the devs did is that they gave you a little bit of speed to make the jump in such a scenario. That's what we call a foot grab. Now, that's how rail boosts get their speed. And how they keep the speed is that normally the foot grab would reset as soon as you made contact. But certain surfaces, primarily rails, who would have thought, uh, <laughs> don't reset your speed. So we can use that to basically skip stuff. Yeah. All right, uh, and if you're wondering why I don't rail boost often, it's because there's no rail boostable collision, which is the main thing. Yeah, we have a, a, a good amount, but very specific spots where we route those in. Yes, indeed. Uh, other than that, Samuel Hayden's basically just going to tell us, like, hey, demons are here. Can you stop Foundry from blowing up? So uh, while that happens, Joker, can we have maybe one or two donations? Absolutely, right, Trill. We've got $50 from $100 Man, and they said, I don't know. I just feel like there isn't quite enough Doom in that prize pack, though. <laughs> and we also have $100 from Kovac, who says, Doom. Doom. Let's so go, right, Trill. You got this. Thank you so much, Kovac. He's actually right there on the back couch cheering us on. Yeah, can we get a, some claps from the back couch here? Miss, and, the, and no, that is Kovac from the AIM Trainer. <laughs> and just like that, we are done with res ops. Now, normally we call that reset ops because a lot of those <laughs> rail boosts you see really make you <laughs> lose time, so we just usually restart. We're on the Foundry. This is the first level combat tract. Isn't that exciting? It's exciting for me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wimpy woos, but I'll take it. Uh, all right. 
Oh. So, <laughs> I, I'm still locked here while Vegas just let us know that combat rating's a thing. What did that barrel ever do to you? I don't like it. I think he attacked Frank here. Yeah, this mm. is Frank. Say hi to Frank. Um, if you've watched a Doom 2016 run at any marathon ever before, you'll know Frank. Inside the foundry. Inside the foundry. Inside the foundry. Yes. Okay. So very quickly, you may notice we have seven weapon points. We actually want to get nine as soon as possible because that will make us be able to master. Uh, fully upgrade one of the weapons, which we can work on its mastery challenge uh, completely. Basically, once you fully upgrade a gun, you're given a little challenge to master it even further, and you're given an additional ability. We're currently going to work on Heat Blast, but before that, nice. get straight into the Gore Nest, where we trigger two fights at once. Uh, and hit scan imp, so be careful. Uh, <laughs> during which I'm gonna get a curb stomp on this guy, a little curb stomp on this guy. Nice, and, and that's, that's the curb stomp challenge done. All right. Upgrading Heat Blast. And I'm just going to show how good Heat Blast is by killing this whole arena with it. It is so good against fodder. Oh. Yeah. And just like that, two encounters down. Nice. Wow. That was so fast. That was very good. <laughs> All right. So basically, Heat Blast's mastery is that we need to get multi kills with it. Uh, I'm going to jump through a window, get our friend the rocket launcher here. We'll talk about that in a second. Once we get 20 multi-kills, we'll master it. And we want to master it right now because uh, damage. All right, Indeed. so moving on, we're going on to our next fight up here. And you may notice there's just constantly two demons, which is perfect for Heat Blast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That was another fastball. <laughs> it like a barrel, uh, too. One of those speed speaking fastballs. <laughs> That's okay. Well, I, think, well, I think the second worst enemy in this is barrels. Yeah. Uh, Joker, can we have a donation as we backtrack? Oh, absolutely. We've got a $1,666 donation from a tall shade of the color red. Yo! And they say, best of luck on your run, Rytro. And what a beautiful couch we have. In the words of Samuel Hayden, I think we can work together and prevent cancer in a way that benefits us all. Thanks a lot, Red. Thank you so much, Red. He's a doomer, hangs out in our community. Shout outs to him. Uh, uh, little, little, uh, little background information. The facility voice uh, is actually one of the voices of the Powerpuff Girls. Oh. No way. Oh, really? That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. So wait, awesome. this is what mixing sugar, spice, and everything nice gets us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I have a whole new perspective on the show. Uh, yeah, we are going to go here and uh, basically get our next upgrade. These Argent Cells are permanent upgrades, and we're going to spec Doom Guy into a glass cannon by getting ammo constantly which is really good for the imps, but not for me. <laughs> but we get to kill more things, so. And so, Hugo, I know you were talking about, like, you know, um, aim shooting in the back and that kind of thing. Um, I know there's a system in this game, I think it's called, like, the token system, um, having to do with, like, how the demons interact with you and stuff. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that system? Uh, so you just asked me about the token system. Talk yes. about a little bit more. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, basically in order to for the player to not get overwhelmed and for there on the different difficulty levels to be a, a certain amount of balance, um, they, they take turns uh, when it comes to heavy attacks. So uh, if we didn't have a token system, then every, every single enemy that was in the room would be firing at you at the same time. Uh, which would get very, uh, well, it'd be impossible. You'd, you'd die <laughs> pretty quickly. Uh, so on easy, uh, they, they're only one of them at a time can fire. Then there's a cooldown between their heavy attacks. So even though you might have six enemies in a room on easy, only one at a time is shooting at you. And then as you go up the different difficulties, it increases where they can uh, fire their heavy attack sooner and more of them can do it at the same time. Uh, Jake Campbell worked on that system uh, along with... 50%. Along with Kurt Lowdy and the rest of the AI team. Really great system, and I think it, it really helps us balance it, uh, you know, on each difficulty, make sure we dial it in for all kinds of players, not just nice players. That's yeah, genius. Uh, token frankly. system is one of those things which you will not notice, but if you look into, you'll find a deeper appreciation of. Uh, this whole time while we're doing combat, um, 
you may notice that we have a lot of strategies here used. The main one I want to talk about is hot swapping. Basically, every game, every gun in this game has a, has a cooldown to where you can fire again. Like, the shotgun has to pump before you can fire it again. But if you swap your weapon while after you fire, your shotgun pumps while it's in your pocket. So we use that opportunity while it's pumping to swap to another weapon and fire more. Also, good jump over that gap there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm just about to get a hand from this dude. <laughs> yeah, actually, talking more about that jump, that is a normally impossible jump with like the space bar or the A button on the controller. Uh, however, we have jump bound to scroll wheel. Meta, uh, very interesting, but first things first, hot boost. Hot boost? Hot boost. Oh, that's a oh! Yo, let's go! That was nice! Oh. <laughs> so, so sorry, jumping to scroll? Jumping to scroll, yes. Um, okay, so there is a, as far as we understand it, Hugo, please let me know if I'm incorrect here. As far as we understand it, there's a small area above the ground that lets you jump, and this is to assist in platforming. Um, and by jumping with the scroll wheel, you are jumping, basically, you're ensuring you're jumping at the top of this additional layer on top of the floor, which gives you additional height. Um, so we can essentially max out our height in every instance by using the scroll wheel. That is one of the many things we do in this game, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, uh, while all that happens, I actually just finished most of the combat here. There's a few wandering Hell Knights that played nice, but we're going to go into the final combat of this section, of this level. Yeah. All right, so first things first. I'm going to get a chainsaw cancel on this imp spawning in. He never stood a chance. <laughs> uh, four imps, all dead to rockets, one Hellraiser. We, those haven't been introduced yet. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Uh, there's this imp who's going to just play around. Um, OK, that's fine. Yeah, um, this room is the first time you really notice the different kinds of spawns. Uh, the first one, obviously, you've noticed that Raichor knew exactly where that imp was going to spawn. That is a static spawn. Uh, otherwise, there can be random spawns, and there's a third type of spawn, which we'll get into more later. Yes, when, when relevant, when we get to a pie room, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> All right, but yeah. Sounds the, delicious. Our main sources of damp. What the heck hit me there? I um, have no idea what that was. Anybody? Having a clue. Ugh, I... Where's the imp? That's usually the question at, at the end of any arena. Where is the imp? Yeah. <laughs> they really like to there run There was away. no imp there. I think the I was just barely within the range of that Hell Knight. Uh, OK, so there's this cutscene where we're going to meet Olivia face to face and where she's going to shut down Vega out of control, blah, blah, blah. That's plot. That's boring. We're here to shoot stuff, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do what's known here as a paper clip. Basically, the walls in this game are paper thin. Like, they're literally a pixel wide. So if you find some place where the walls don't quite exactly align, oh, don't mind me, just uh, platforming. Uh, like right here, we can... <laughs> Wiggle right through. Right through. <laughs> That's and... unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do some out-of-bounds platforming here so that we don't have to watch Olivia shut down access and everything. Uh, I got to <laughs> jump right here, taking this very slow, go down, line up on the left side, jump. Very nice. And end of level trigger. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that you're part of left side crew. There's always a debate about right side versus left side on that out of bounds. Left side, Wait, all the there, way. there's a right side? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. All right, well, welcome to, to Argent Facility. Um, is using the tower to so we're going to do one thing right off the bat here, which you might not even really notice. Uh, if we just jump up here, there's no collision. Nice. And we're out of bounds. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to do, this is a very hard trick. Um, uh -huh. Oh, my bad. I'll go for it again. I'll go for it again. But I accidentally took a step too much far there. Uh, this is a very hard skip. That where you can get soft locked about three or four separate times or just fall to your death right there, and we have to watch this cutscene. It is very, very difficult. I could use a second of concentration as I try to get the platforming exactly right. You got it. Okay. I, I just find it fascinating that you guys figure all this stuff out. It's, it's amazing. It's very much a community effort, you know. I'll yeah. give it one more try. I'll give it one more try. You got this. You got this. Okay, okay. Uh, Joker, how about a quick donation? 
Absolutely. Well, you spoke of Vega just a little bit ago. We got $25 from Vega. They say, hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After studying your motivations, I notice you are raising funding to detect and prevent cancer. That is a noble cause. I have added a funding tracker to your dossier. <laughs> oh, okay. One more part of the trick. One more part of the... Last part. Oh, oh yeah, okay. You know we got it. Good we enough. take those. We, got we absolutely it. take those. <laughs> so for the crowd, that saves two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> So we're going to skip a little bit of platform to get back here to our first rune trial. That's what's introduced in this level. Uh, runes are basically permanent upgrades you can slot in in order to, you know, uh, kill things more efficiently. Right here is Vacuum, where uh, any loot dropped, we will pick it away from further. And to do that, we just got to kill some imps here. Uh, and because we will, are going to do a trick right after this, I'm going to start explaining that. So back in 2020, Bite Me ran this game at AGDQ. Uh, and in the practice room, he literally discovered a trick that allowed you to equip rune slots over slots that are locked, which we will call bite and switch. How it works is that the menu is fully operable by keyboard and mouse controls. So if we uh, select a rune locked with the keyboard, but confirm it with the mouse, look what happens. Vacuum is over the locked slot. <laughs> So now uh, we can uh, equip uh, all runes right away. Yeah, we basically have forced access to all three rune slots. Mm -hmm. Helps for mastering things as quick as possible. Yeah, that's, I mean, I had to, I wasn't really part of the 100% reroute there, but I can't, I'm, uh, that must have been monumental for routing. It was so good. Uh, it really changed almost the whole progression routing. All right. So we're in this next, we're actually mastering remote debt. Uh, in this fight, this has a funny thing where uh, the spawns here are based on position. So I'm going to stay in the back here and all these imps will spawn back here and they're dead? Cool. <laughs> all right, I didn't get a chainsaw here, but that should be fine. So the challenge for this level is glory kill hell knights from above. So nice. we're gonna do that quick with a setup. And I have to grab this backup ammo box because I did miss a chainsaw, so. Also, I love that the challenge is called to be knighted and like the, the stun stance of the knight or the hell knight is like, he's like bowing, but then you just crack his neck. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. The glory kill animations in this game are pretty sick. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do a little rail boost here found by a member of the community, Slig, who is second place currently for 100% Ultra Nightmare. Uh, so we just line up right here. Whee! Wow, that is new. That, that is awesome. That saves four seconds. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and if it's free, might as well go for it. We're picking up lock-on burst. Now, believe it or not, for the speedrun, lock-on burst isn't really that useful. Uh, remote debt just outclasses it in this game in nearly every way. However, we're picking it up now because it allows for a technique that you'll see later. All right, I'm gonna, this is a very hard encounter, so I'm going to take this a little slow. I've already failed a few unnecessary out of bounds a couple <laughs> times, and we don't need another one. Yeah, as far as the rocket launcher. You know uh, what, oh. in fact, uh, I'm gonna let you focus. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, you know what, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna grab a collectible, it's, it's good. Okay. <laughs> Nothing will happen. Okay. Sorry, I, I was going to explain something, but now I'm just like... Oh, go ahead. Okay, that, there we go. Uh, we, okay. Go ahead, you go. When the Hell Knight leaps, a lot of times he clips through the ceiling, and uh, every time that happens, it drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if he clips into the ceiling, uh, as long as he, you know... Uh, okay, hold on. I am very weird on ammo here. Uh, we're good, we're good. I'm going to grab another secret. Nice. We actually picked up that toy. I hope you're happy. That is actually a shortcut, by the way. You're intended to uh, come down from the level above and like open up these like hatchway doors that get you onto that platform. But yeah, we can do some unintended parkour there and save a solid amount of time. So this whole time we're working on a uh, mastery called external payload for the remote, for the rocket launcher's remote debt, which will basically give us a second explosion, meaning it will do even more damage, and we want that ASAP. <sighs> so uh, here's another little thing that drives me nuts. So you'll notice that you can't see the edge of the glass on that sphere, uh, which just looks odd. So. 
I never noticed that before, actually. I actually yeah. <laughs> you know how many times I've watched that animation and never noticed that? I thought, I thought and we, now I'm going to never be able to unsee that. I thought we were supposed to ruin <laughs> yeah. the game for you, Hugo, not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. No, this, this can just turn into me critiquing the, the game. We, we could roll right into Doom Eternal after this. Yeah. Be four hours of criticism. All right, people, welcome to Kovacs Aim Trainer. Uh, <laughs> we have a pistol here, and we have to shoot these barrels. That's basically the general gist of it. Uh, the pistol, we don't use it much in this game because it has inherent bloom, because it's an infinite animo sidearm. You got to balance it somehow. So that leads to this challenge being a little inconsistent, but it's fine. We got it. Yeah, very nice. That was like maybe two missed shots. Do you know how many I missed? That was amazing. <laughs> Great job. All right. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to this next part of the run. Going to equip this rune slot because we bite and switched it. Uh, all right. Uh, we have this Gorness right here. I'm going to ignore it slightly for now, and you'll see why later. But for now, let's just get a Dazed and Confused tick. That's the rune we just picked up. We need to glory kill things from above. So I'm going to dip into this arena, kill a few things. All right. And... Uh, all right, that Gore Nest, eh, I, I don't think I'm ready for it. Go back here. This looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting deja vu. All right. And Maybe now you're ready. Ah, uh, uh, no, no not, 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 not yet, no. The forklift, you know. <laughs> for people who don't know, this fight will spawn in infinitely uh, if you just leave. Uh, and then come back to it. So now that I've done that three times, I'm going to grab this Gore Nest. Now you're ready for the fight, right? Yeah, now I'm in here for the fight, totally. <laughs> Gonna stack these two encounters in here while the other spawn in. Don't worry, they'll get to me eventually. <laughs> oh, Hell Knight out of nowhere, and animation cancel in. Nice. I didn't really explain it, uh, so I'll go into it here. Uh, what animation can... Oh, sorry, Hugo, were you speaking? What's that? I think, I think it was just a bit of feedback. A bit of, bit of feedback, gotcha. Uh, so animation canceling with the chainsaw works in this. Is that the failsafe? Okay, this Hellraiser. I haven't seen that spawn location before. Uh, so animation canceling, basically the default state for the chainsaw is if all else fails, it will guarantee to kill the... Um, whatever enemy. Yeah, yeah, to kill whatever enemy and drop the ammo. Uh, That's awesome. Yes, and so if we are able to overlap like a spawn-in animation or chainsaw it from an awkward angle, we're able to just completely bypass the animation and save a couple seconds. So we do that whenever possible. There's a whole you know, the, lot of... Yeah, go ahead, Hugo. One of the biggest, uh, now that I have you guys all here, um, there's like, it's, it, during the course of development, especially after launch, there's a uh, good good people at QA whose job it is to identify bugs and issues and they make lists of like hundreds of these things uh, even thousands and uh, it's impossible to police them all and so much of what you guys are doing is riding what they would classify as a bug yeah and then what I learned I've been here now 11 years and you know uh, closely involved with all this stuff with development post launch stuff and as I got to know the speedrunner community just so everybody knows, we love you guys. We don't care that you do this. It's the best thing ever. If a bug that you ride gets fixed, it's not intentional at all. Like, we don't even know that it happens. It's kind of impossible to police it. It's like, because I don't know. I mean, I've had speeches where I'm like, well, we got to be careful. And it's like, well, there's like a thousand bugs we're going to fix with this <laughs> patch. So which of them do you not want us to touch? I'm like, I don't know what they use. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Completely fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it is, uh, how to put it, while on the subject of patching, patching out bugs related to speedrun, Doom 2016 actually is played on current patch. Mm -hmm. yep. So everything what you see here was never patched out. So at least in the case of Doom 2016, everything we can use for the route is here. Oh, you may have noticed throughout this whole time, people, if you, the observant among you, uh, we're supposed to destroy filters in order to stop, like, Argent Tower overfilling or something. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, why am I walking past them? Well, it's because Samuel Hayden told me not to, and I figured he'd be a lot happier if I just didn't, so... Yeah, what know. if we actually listened to Samuel Hayden? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> didn't, didn't Doom Eternal do, like, a multiverse theory? This is, this is just that universe. <laughs> this yeah. is true. This is true. Something, something peering into timelines. <laughs> 
All right, so we're back at this arena that I triggered all the way before back when I combat raided farmed, which was what I was doing. So uh, the reason why we farmed earlier was that combat raiding actually depends on how many demons you kill. It's actually slightly different for each level, but let's annoy the, ignore that point of nuance. Oh, I'm walking on a wall, by the way. Uh, <laughs> So combat rating is tracked per demon killed. So if we kill enough demons, we can get full combat rating. And the game does not care if you killed every other demon. It only cares if you've killed enough. So we killed a few times in there in order to farm combat rating because some of the combat rating is locked behind cutscenes from destroying filters. And uh, I don't want to do that. So um, if only there was <laughs> some way to skip to the end of the level so I didn't have to destroy filters and unlock the ending area. If I wonder the, if I could do something. If only oh, the look. technology was there. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, there's a secret level, people. Well, how about that? <laughs> and now we are jumping, and now we are here. And level's done. Great job. <laughs> that is hilarious. So, yeah, in this canon, uh, yeah, I think Samuel Hayden and Doomguy are on good terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're actually best friends now. Best friends. Yeah. Tons of Argent Energy. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Yeah. Okay, Argent Energy Tower. We're going to have to hold climb a tower in this, and I never trust this level because I always think it's up to something. <laughs> That's because it is, so. <laughs> All right, we're upgrading lock-on here. Uh, Lock-on is just mastered by killing summoners, and there's just a lot of easy summoner kills in this level, and by a lot, I mean two, which is two-fifths of what we're looking for, so we're cool. I'm going to do some combat here. This is actually probably the hardest combat in the early game. Well, that and the next arena. This game expects us to have some amount of health upgrades, period. Uh, we, like I said, we only picked up ammo, so we will die instantly. All right, we are picking up the Moon Boots, a.k.a. the Double Jump. Uh, Eternal speedrunners are so blessed, they start off with it. We got to earn it. Uh, so, yeah, we got a Double Jump in this game, and Double Jump has some weird properties, which we'll touch on in a little bit. But for now, let's just move on. We're going to get Ammo Boost, where we're introduced to this thing called the Super Shotgun, and we just have to kill things as much as possible. So we want to try to line up collateral shots. That is basically this whole trial. Uh, Joker, if you have a couple donations, now is a pretty all right time. I absolutely do. I've got $50 here from Enigma Requiem. Just says comment? No. You know what? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> we have $50 from Wig Tall, who says Doom cometh. No time to sleep. Gotta watch some high octane action and out of bounds nonsense. <laughs> there will be a lot of that in this run. Thank you. One more and then we're. We're going to have to cut it clear. All right. We've got $250 from King Dime, who says, pro tip, rip and tear until it is done. Yo, shout outs to King Dime, classic Doom legends. Good luck on the run, Rytro. All right. So we're, I have some bad news. We're going to pick up our final ammo upgrade. So unfortunately, I will have to make the run safer for me by picking up health after. So <laughs> Poor shame. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do here is fire my gun a lot. Well, that seems odd. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just really hate the scenery. Um, I think maybe left click stuck, or you should yeah, probably play more of Kovacs, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick little rail boost here. Uh, we're you, a little high. Oh I was say, oh, oh. You said a little rail boost. Oh. I did say little. I lied. Uh, That's okay. okay. Okay, and we're here. Nice. Okay. There, there, is a, there is a way where if you fall too long, you'll die. So that was a little scary. Yeah, yeah. that was a little sketch, but luckily we're cool. I'm going to pick up this extra tick just for safety. Could you stop that shield soldier? Thank you. Uh, that is really funny. One thing I'm doing here, you may notice uh, that bot is still alive. I did not punch the heck out of it. I'm actually doing a technique called mod swap canceling, uh, where basically, oh, hold on, rail boost. Whee! Whee! Such a cool <laughs> There's instant death beneath that behind, you know, underneath that rail boost. Just letting you know. Uh, but uh, basically, again with animation canceling, uh, if you are in a mod swap animation, it can't display like the mod bot animation. So we basically, we overwrite it to not play the, um, the mod bot animation. Here's Olivia. She's getting away, and what are we doing? We're just sitting here looking at her. Well, the is still viable, we are 
All right, so we got to chase after Olivia before she, you know, blows this place to hell. Spoiler. Wait a minute. <laughs> so you're still firing. What's up with that? Okay, what I'm firing for here, uh, let's explain that in a second. Oh, yep. uh, right now we're getting to the second hardest combat encounter. We have to get glory kills on imps for a challenge from behind. And there are Hellraisers and a bunch of barrels in this fight, and they will not hesitate. Oh, also imp. Also just, imps. Imps just instantly hitting me. They will not hesitate to instantly kill me. So what I am going to do is... Hellraisers? Yes. Uh, oh, I, uh, that was so, slightly off. Yeah, go ahead. I, so another little backstory. Uh, the Hellraiser is one of the least effective AI uh, in the game because he has uh, so many sort of uh, intro animations and, and he does so many like um, taunts and roars and wind-ups that, you know, uh, for skilled players, by the time he actually gets a shot off, you guys have all killed him three times over. <laughs> he's all bark um, and no bite. <laughs> yes. That being he's funny. He's, he's got good reactions, but he's just very, very slow to engage the player. I do very much like his hit scan laser thing, making you <laughs> like jump around it. It is very fun. But yeah, yeah. Uh, that is one of the instances where Hellraisers go unchecked in this run. Uh, okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of unintentional platforming here, where I'm going to set up right here, wait for this tram, and with this a precise is double jump. Nice. Get it. That is another jump only possible. And we with totally picked up that toy the there. Good toy. Good, to good toy. That is, yep. that is hilarious. For those wondering what, uh, why we aren't picking up the toy, uh, it only matters if you trigger the secret to pick up a toy, not if you actually pick it up for 100% criteria. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've never. You like fired a bullet like into the cutscene. Yeah, might as well. It's a, it's free ammo I've, wasted. I've never seen that. Merger just the Macubus. There. Well, bye bye. He's bye. But um, there's two more. Uh, this combat counter seems really scary. I'm out of here. I'm gonna do a little thing here. Oh, dude! I got hit by three things. <laughs> These I, fastballs are this wild. This arena, you can sometimes just instantly die. Unfortunately, there's just like nothing you can do. Like it just, yeah. they're they're too strong. There's too many of them, and we're ignoring them. So, uh, our apologies. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you may notice these yellow things in the background look kind of familiar. Um, Raitro is gonna platform on them on them to get up and out of this fight, and we call that banana skip. Uh, for potentially obvious reasons. Yeah, that's it's because we split from this encounter. Huh? Oh, no. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, just let, I won't let you slip up. You're appealing to my sense of humor. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, <laughs> getting, getting faces like this to perform, keep the frame rate up, it's not an easy trick. I think our tech team and our art team and Level designers all come together to make sure that these levels grand and usually impressive and huge, you know, epic scope while still performing at or above at 60 FPS. Yeah, uh, this tower is infamous for its frame drops because there's unfortunately some things you just can't fix. But inside the tower, we run quite smooth. Uh, we skipped that last encounter. I never explained why. Because like I said, it doesn't matter if you kill everything in the game. What matters is that you just kill enough to get five combat points. Yeah, so awesome. we're actually gonna, just going to kill a lot more in the rest of the level. Okay. We <laughs> because we skipped that fight, there was a little bit of invisible collision. But don't worry, as soon as we bunk our head against it, it, it spawns in. Uh, during this fight, our goal is to look for revenants. But yeah, um, where are they? Oh, there you are. Oh, I should mention, we kind of glossed over it, but there are power-ups in this game, like this green orb, which gives me invincibility. I can't die now, as long as I have this orb active. Uh, that may be relevant for the rest of the run slash level. Um, foreshadowing is a literary device. <laughs> it sure is, Rytro. <laughs> so why have, been, why have you been shooting between uh, encounters? That is actually a very good question. So mastery is for some of the runes, which, uh, yes, each rune has a mastery challenge associated with it, uh, is picking up loot. And a common loot in this game is ammo. And can you pick up ammo if your weapon is full on ammo? Uh, no. Meta? No, no you I... can't. So that's why we have to light every surface of hot molten lead. <laughs> 
Yeah, so because of Bite and Switch, Raichu currently has Ammo Boost equipped as well as Vacuum. Vacuum requires you to pick up items. Ammo Boost requires you to refill ammo. So by absolutely dumping ammo, Raichu is actually mastering both of those at once. When we pick something up when, yes. later. Yeah. You'll see him doing a lot of stuff uh, like this that. This is a precise cycle. Oh, oh, and we oh, oh, nice. OK. Are you on ice? Sometimes these can be a little bit slippery. Uh, if you don't move after a mantle, you're pretty consistently not on ice. Okay. So we're good. All right. We're going to grab this level, this secret level lever. Yeah, so Hugo, I think there might be a story behind these levers, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Go, go ahead, ahead, Hugo. Just uh, Jason O'Connell uh, put them in the game to be able for, uh, for us to access uh, retro levels. That didn't in the happen. Game. <laughs> uh, that platform moved that way at just <laughs> such a wrong time. Hold on, I'm going to load checkpoint one thing here just to make the cycle consistent. Sorry, continue, Hugo. No, that's it. And just uh, to be as like a deep, deep, super secret to be able to access uh, some of the retro levels, which I'm sure you guys know on on Nightmare, the balance of some of those uh, retro levels is pretty intense because mm -hmm. uh, the spaces are pretty tight and they don't quite fit the, the more modern AI, but uh, they're still really fun to find anyway. Yeah, we actually, this is sort of off topic, but we have a category on speedrun.com for uh, all the classic levels. So you can like load them up all from the menu, and uh, yeah, we have a category for running all of those single segment back to back. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right, so uh, we're climbing up the tower now. Um, basically, we're going to the final combat arena. We're basically there's cycle space. We have to make these elevators at some point or another. Um, okay, and if I time this just right. Uh, Physics lesson, conservation of momentum. <laughs> Beautiful. And we learned something today, didn't we? We did. Didn't you say that uh, when you first played, that's how you thought you had to get to that? Yeah, I, I thought that was the, the intended way. I thought it was a momentum puzzle, but um, turns out there's a door later, <laughs> but it's just slow to go to that door. That's your physics brain. My brain could never. <laughs> yes, that the physics is speaking through me. OK, um, you guys need to, oh wait, you're close. Cool, nice. nice. Well done. All right, so because we wasted all this ammo, we're just about to uh, get our refill up here. But it's a lot of walking until we get to a special weapon, which is uh, located a little bit later. So Joker, if you have time, we got time for one quick donation. Yeah, absolutely. We've got $150 from Tyson. And they say, this Doom run is killer. Keep crushing it. Thank you so much. Uh, OK, we're going to have to cut it off there. I just picked up an equipment called the hologram. There's multiple ho equipment in this game. Uh, here's the weapon that everyone missed during their casual playthrough. <laughs> uh, so uh, we got uh, a Gauss rifle. And this gun fires a payload so hot, so fast, so heavy, that it actually physically pushes us backwards. And you can imagine, if we turn around, we can use that speed as forward speed. That's what we call Gauss boosting. Can also work for jumps like this. I'm going to get effectively a triple jump by using it, and we'll be using that all the time. Nice. Every moment from this point forward. It also completes something that we call the alpha rotation, uh, which is essentially just like the best weapons in the game that will give us the highest amount of like DPS damage per second. Um, so that includes the rocket launcher, the super shotgun, and the uh, Gauss cannon now. So we're going to do quick swapping, which Rytro explained earlier, to max out the DPS. All right, and I'm going to take it right from you. Like I said, Olivia Pierce, beginning of the run. Uh, I'm going to take it from here because this is a very complicated stuff, uh, encounter. We are low on combat rating, so we have to kill a lot here. And this whole encounter is based on a timer. If we do not kill enough by the timer, we do not get 100%. And hmm, how am I going to get that secret level? I wonder how. So what I'm going to do is grab this quad damage and try to instantly just kill these revenants because they provide a lot of combat rating. Where the heck are they? They are running. Wow. They are running. I mean, I know why they're running, but why do they have to? Don't forget one more. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. okay. Oh, we are racing against the clock here now. Yeah, so that's the first countdown. That's actually not the... Okay. This level will auto-end with a white fade, and uh, right towards... Yeah, this is... Okay, you got this. If you look at those circles up at the top right, we've got to finish those and also grab the secret level, which is at the other end of the level. 
Uh, I'm getting I'm getting real close here. I got the invulnerability oh. power up. Uh. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh it was so close. I tried boosting oh, downwards. Yes. It didn't quite work. Uh, so because of that, uh, the secret level's still open, but the checkpoint cycle is kind of left up, so I actually have to do a backup strat where I grab this down here. Uh, this is where the secret level is. If all went according to plan, we could have um, gotten that at the end. But we were so close. So we have that now. <laughs> yeah, we have that now. And now we're going to do this fight, and we won't have any timer crunch as we have to, uh, you know, We'll be okay. It's still pretty tight. You have two full circles of CR to complete. Uh, it'll be fine. In fact, it's so <laughs> fine. It's so not interesting. Joker, do you want to read another donation? Absolutely. I've got one of my favorite types of donations here in puns from a $66 and 66 donation from Jade. They ask, what do Hawaiian pull-apart rolls and Doom have in common? You have to rip and tear until they are done. Of course. I'm sorry. Of course. I am not Jade. Thank you. That you have no great. reason to be sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, we are just clearing up here. And we have enough combat rating, so cool. We are good. So one of the things we learned in the game with spaces like this, call them donut arenas, is that when there's uh, a large central element in the arena, hole in the floor or giant pillar or something, it just, the player runs around it like a racetrack. Just you know, they'll they'll just follow it around and around. They'll game the AI, and so it's kind of an ongoing joke in the map. Uh, the guys uh, give me a hard time about it because I'm always just screaming no donuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as soon as they're as soon as they're in there, that's what happens. You just run around in a circle. So the that's guy, awesome. there's so much great work done to by the designers to make the arenas flow. You know the way they do. I think it's one of the high points of the game. It's just the the. Uh, how meticulously designed the, the the arena spaces are, and you, you know it's trial and error. You learn that you make the donut space, you art it up, and you start playing it. And you realize like, oh wow, these spaces, you know, they're not they're not so great for combat. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna be moving on to stuff that is not quite donut arena ish. Cadinger, <laughs> this is arguably Brunner's favorite level because. Although last had last levels had combat, this level is filled to the brim with combat. First things right. first, some gl Oh, that, that should have worked. That was I, weird. <laughs> I feel like I got like three <laughs> off. It's fine. We play with that. There are backups. So we're going to move into this fight, which is the first big fight in Cadinger. My goal here is to get a Hellraiser glory kill while also dealing with a few of these enemies. Uh, I can make it. I can make it. You got it. You got it. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that's just rude. I hate this. this <laughs> This is uh, this is so unfortunate. This is so sad. So yeah, Cadger Sanctum has, I believe, you need four sweep the leg kill in or glory kill yeah. animations, mm -hmm. uh, and there's only a finite amount of Hellraisers yeah, that we can um, do them on. So yeah, you know what? I think I I lost my Doom privileges. I'm just gonna leave this arena. <laughs> yeah, I'm, this I'm, is uh, this was designed by uh, level was designed by Jason O'Connell. Yeah, um, absolutely killed it. Uh, you may have noticed that we m triggered these floating pedestals a little early. We shouldn't have been able to, but because of Gauss boosting, we were able to. Uh, we are working on double trouble mastery for the SSG, which is basically the super shotgun. It will allow us to fire twice, which is horribly, horribly damageful. By the way, good toy. Yeah, good toy. Good toy. No, no problem. No problem. We just have to get several multi kills by uh, killing with the um, SSG. Uh, oh, hey, we're back here. And look, there's a quad damage power-up. Where'd that come from? So now we have two fights spawned in at the same time, but we have quad damage to even the playing fields. And our goal is to just do both fights at the same time. And if I do this right... Uh, there we go, which yeah. It's going pretty all right so far. Imped here. All right, uh, quad damage ended a little early. It's fine. I can play off this. You finished momentum swing, which is the quad damage challenge. So I cool. think you're good, right? Yeah. 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 So I mean, obviously, overlapping arenas is fast just in general, but it also gives us more opportunity to get more quad damage kills. That was, uh, and that finishes the challenge. That was scary right there, uh, but we got through it. I had faith the whole time. Uh, I have no ammo. Oh no, this is so sad. Um, 
I can't gauss. Oh, wait, I have one gauss boost. I'm going to save it uh, for stuff that might or may not be appropriate. So we just plugged in that skull. You know, good skull. And then we got another skull, and we're going to go to this arena now. Except I, I'm going to be real. I'm lying. Uh, <laughs> Cadinger has so much combat, and I mean so much combat, that you can full-on skip one arena and still have plenty for the level. So we're going to do that exactly. All right, so moving on, we are going... Hey, guys, give me What's two up? seconds. I'm going to go grab some... I got to get a snack or something. That is no fair. Problem. Uh, while you are getting that snack, we just skipped all the way up to this rune trial. Okay, so now we have to uh, get savagery. This is the suit. This is uh, basically a glory kill rune, so we'll upgrade it by doing glory kills. Uh, we are... Uh, moving through, basically, we have to get kills to move. Uh, and we have to deal with shotgun spread here, which is yeah. very unfortunate. And 15. Oh, health. that's Can so I close. <laughs> we are good. <laughs> nice. You do not get health back in that trial. That is unfortunate. Whew. Okay, moving on. We are back. And thank goodness we're going to get more health upgrades. That is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try to do something a little funny here. Uh, if you are well-versed in the game, you know that in the next fight, a Revenant will spawn. But I'm going to try to make sure that it doesn't. I'm going to do a particular setup. Shoutouts to Red and Minifish for letting me know. If you guys don't know Red and Minifish, they are absolute legends of the 100% Ultra Nightmare category. But um, they do not run much anymore because they are focused on brighter oh. pastures. <laughs> we just Assassin's Creed and Mancubus. And that's vacuum done as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. We're going to get the mobile turret. Nice. Good turret. Yep. Good turret. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mobile turret is just not the most effective in speedruns because we have so much stuff to do with possible. No! The Revenant lived! Ah, How dare he? He didn't get the scripts. Oh. That was close. Some of these ledges uh, feel like they have butter on them. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. I accidentally uh, got that last Hellraiser, so I'm actually going to do one thing for marathon safety real quick. Um, I'm going to... A solid part of like skill when it comes to 100, running 100% is improvising when something goes wrong because there's so much you have to keep track of. There's so many things you have to do. Most of the time, Both. something's going to go wrong, and you have to learn how to adapt to that. Uh, Rytro is very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of the complicated things in 100% is routing it. There's like over 150 plus collectibles, so many progression trees, so many perks you get for mastering things. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the nerds in the uh, Doom community have really, and I mean really, routed the heck out of this. So thank you to them. The main two I have to really give shout outs to are Darave and Dangerous, who put so much time into routing Classic. I can also, can't have 100% speed run without Classic people like Bite Me, Red Warrior, and Minifish as well. So Absolutely. can the crowd give me a good shout out to all of them? Heck yeah. I love Bite Me. Another friend. We all love Bite Me. Yeah, he is, uh, without Bite Me, I don't think I'd be here running this today. So big shout outs to Bite Me especially. Yeah, Bite Me really like kicked off, um, I suppose, the modern 100% uh, all right. uh, initiative. <laughs> all right, we're going to do something very funny here. So your, shoot, your shot from the heavy cannon here can be canceled with a melee, and your melee can be canceled with a heavy cannon shot. <laughs> so if you didn't notice it, here's what happens when you do that. Yeah, you could just pump out damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could just keep spamming it until it dies. That's a, fa that's a fast rune trial. That is a very fast rune trial, yeah. Uh, okay, so we are about done with um, see, uh, these runes. Nice we will hop, equip them way. later. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to equip haste. Oh, yeah, this game does have bunny hopping. Uh, you cannot accelerate it with it, but you can uh, keep momentum with yeah. it. Yeah. We'll so, We'll get a little bit more detail of that into, I think, Lazarus, because that's where bunny hopping becomes readily apparent. But suffice to say, jump when you hit the ground, you can serve your speed. 
All right, so we just grabbed the haste power up basically to get a... Uh... Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, I forgot to do one thing. I think that was causing my issues with power-ups earlier. It's kind of, we're fine. We're cool. All right, I just mod canceled in to get Siege Mode, and oh boy, <laughs> Siege Mode. Oh boy. <laughs> so uh, this is our by far the best mod attachment in the game, period. At least when it comes to speed runs. Uh, so there's the Baron. He just got Siege Moded, rocketed, <laughs> and he's dead. If you play this game, you might be like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> All right. We'll explain, don't worry. Yeah, we'll get the quad damage. Uh, there's an imp here. I'm going to take this opportunity to get a chainsaw. Uh, we're going to get some SSG ticks off these lost souls by being, just knowing where they spawn. And one there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And, oh. and watch this lever spawn in. Oh, unless. Oh. What's alive? It has to be an imp. Right? It's an imp. It's always an imp. Where would an imp be? The Underneath, uh, check towards the right hand side. Oh, oh. nope, he there. Was just yep. tidy I told you though, it's always an imp. <laughs> See, I used to be a speedrunner at one point, <laughs> but then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh no. Shout out <laughs> to Id leaving a bunch of Easter eggs in, the, in this game. <laughs> There's a lot. We yeah, have the tradition of uh, the studio. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. There is a lot of cool Easter eggs in this game. Like uh, the soundtrack by Mick Gordon. If you put it into a spectrogram, some of his tracks will straight up make a pentagram. There's and also like 666. And, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there, you could just tell that y'all were having a lot of fun making this game. <laughs> OK. Uh, by the way, shout out to the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack is good, but you don't need me to tell me that. You have your ears to tell you that. Uh, we will be ripping Terran all this way thanks to uh, the jams of Mick Gordon. Okay, moving on. We. Man, hello. Oh. <laughs> all right, uh, I am going to. Uh, I did that menuing a little early. That's fine. Oh, wait. Mm, I'll be right back. All right, catch you in a sec. Uh, we are uh, almost done with the level, but because I don't have that um, leg sweep challenge from the Hellraisers down, I'm a little bit behind in progression. That's fine. We can get in the last encounter. Just need that one more, yeah. All right, grabbing this. Uh, as soon as we get the weapon token from finding this challenge, we are going to use it to... Uh, oh, uh, upgrade tech scope fully, or basically we need to get headshots with it. This is like a, you know, a scope for your assault rifle. It's, uh, and we're moving on to the final fight, which is actually one of the better fights in this game, I'd say. Oh yeah. At least in the speed totally. run. So what I'm gonna do is rocket two imps instantly. Uh, rocket this guy. Get this. Uh, get the last Ooh. dead man. Yes. Stick right. on. Perfect. Nice. Uh, okay. Could you? Love that improv. Okay, and now we're moving on. Good bunny hop, by the way. Uh, <laughs> on to these revenants, and by the time we kill these revenants, these imps are starting to swarm us. But don't worry, uh, quad damage. Uh, two mancubies will spawn in. We will deal with them quickly. Two barons, but again, quad damage. All right, and just like that, we are done, unless there is one imp remaining somewhere. There always yep. is. Yep. <laughs> all right. So I would explain exactly what's going to happen right here, but I just want you all to listen very closely to the sound effects here. Oh. That is us dying from fall damage. <laughs> okay. But look at the loading screen. We're going on to the next level. Argent facility destroyed. And we're here. That death doesn't count. In case you're wondering, if you're playing Ultra Nightmare, which is highest difficulty, but permadeath, that will not end your run. In fact, it actually helps you. It will completely refill your health on entrance to the next level. Really? Yeah. Today, dude, I have over a thousand hours in this game. I just learned that. <laughs> As you do. Okay, so we have some... Gauss boosting is very, very good in this level. Like, we're going to just go up here, and we're going to grab a lever through a fence. Don't worry about it. I mean, we grabbed a door through a floor earlier. Door through a floor. Door through a floor. <laughs> Grabbing the secret. If you can get to the nearest terminal. Hello. 
Welcome, Welcome back. back. I got Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I wish I had some. I All right, we're enjoy. gonna do a non-scary Gauss boost here. <sighs> By the way, if I fall in that pit, I die. Uh, you don't refill your HP or anything like that? No, only in the last level. <laughs> okay. So uh, we normally have to pick up the chain gun there. However, I'm just going to instead do this Gauss boost, and oh, we have nice. skipped 90% of the level. Very nice. If we wanted to, we could leave nearly immediately, but we got to grab everything. It just so happens that the end of the level is just close to the beginning, so we make that little jump. Here's the hardest rune trial in the game, if you ask me. It's uh, armor defensive. The whole gimmick is that you only have armor for health. You don't have health for health. As you can see, I'm one HP with only armor. I'm gonna do actually a technique here called Jimmy Shotting, which we will talk about in a bit. But for now, I'm just trying not to die, Frick Pinky. <laughs> I am surprised you didn't die there. I was really worried about I that last lot, party ball too. I, I, pick, <laughs> I picked up a lot of armor just in case, and thank goodness I did. Oh yeah, also the soldier charge shot. We'd like to call that a party ball because it's uh -huh. it's a lot of fun. <laughs> So armor defensive is by far the hardest rune in the game to master. We'll get into it a bit, but we need to pick up 2,500 pieces of armor, which that is a lot. Frankly, yeah. In an Ultra Nightmare run especially, that is excruciatingly difficult. Um, Hugo, would you say, like, was it ever expected that you would be able to do 100% completion on, like, an Ultra Nightmare save file? You know, it's very hard to test all of that stuff. Like, you're... Um, I couldn't say if, if, if we... I mean, everything we put into the game, if it's if it's a reward or a challenge, like, obviously, we want to make sure it's possible. We have QA working hard on that stuff. But, mm -hmm. um, excuse me, I have little Cheerios in my throat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, so uh, if it's in the game... We thought it was possible. Um, it sounds like it is. It's just extremely, extremely hard. It takes a lot of routing. Yeah. We had <laughs> but to route totally a possible. long time to do it. So you guys got close enough, which is <laughs> all we can thank you for. Uh, so you may notice, I kind of didn't explain this, but the siege mode is just kind of deleting things. And if you played this game, it doesn't typically do that. What I'm actually doing is I'm using the siege mode, but instantly. This is a technique we called instant siege mode. Shoutouts to Dreamer King. Uh, basically, how it works is that if you swap to the Gauss Cannon while holding, you know, right-click the mod fire, and then press the fire as soon as you can, you'll just instantly fire a Seismo shot. Good toy. Good toy. Yeah, thank you. Good toy. Uh, which removes all the negatives from Siege Mode, because normally it has a large charge time that hampers your mobility, and we just say, nah, can instantly pull out a, an insta-kill beam. Yeah. Siege Mode, as it's intended to be used, would definitely warrant being added into the alpha rotation, which I mentioned earlier is like our three core weapons. Um, but instant, or sorry, uh, the Gauss Cannon with instant Siege Mode is like, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm actually... You may notice, oh, Rytro, you're killing those demons so slow. Let me introduce you to the thing in this game called timers. So uh, this arena and a few other ones, if you kill enemies too quick, it will delay spawns of later waves. Uh, why is that specifically the case? I don't know. That's just how it was programmed. So we have to be a little slow on those pinky kills in order to uh, uh, this get everything. <clears throat> person you would ask is Pat Hook really good uh, designer here. He designed Surface 1 and Surface Returns. So that's, that's uh, that would be Arjun Facility and Arjun Facility Destroyed, right? Right, yeah. The, the We call it Surface. <clears throat> <clears throat> good to know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, just in case you don't know, this is Arjun Facility, the map we were playing on previously. However, it's kind of had a little bit of a remake over because Demon Invasion is picked up. And as you can imagine, that would um, really really make it uh, hard to, um, you know, keep the same environment when demons are tearing it all up. It's actually one of the most creative and I think one most well retracts in like any game ever. Yeah, it feels like a completely different, it, well, it feels it, like 90% It feels like a, different a completely level. different level <laughs> and the, the facts that makes it the same is that, you know, um, you saw this level just a little bit ago and this is what the demons did in that short time. Mm -hmm. Kind of adds a little bit to the narrative way, if you ask me. 
Oh. Yeah, Pat Hook, Pat Hook, uh, he did a good job. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to get to something very complicated. We kind of talked about the summoner enemy, didn't really explain it, because who would have thought that the summoner enemy summoned? But there's a little bit of nuance that we didn't get for that detail. See, summoners in this game, how they're programmed, is that every summoner will uh, spawn a set number of enemies max, and then it won't spawn in anymore. Every summoner, except for this one right here. This will spawn in infinitely, so can you imagine what I'm about to do? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> there is just a lot of combat in this level that is so far out of the way, so I'm going to grab a Berserk power-up and get a bunch of glory kills while this is happening to basically farm the combat ring we'll need to not backtrack too much. That's the goal. And you'll notice, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see up to three masqueries being, like, uh, ticked off at, like, one time. Yes, and that's, are, that's routing, baby. We are mastering <laughs> basically every glory kill rune while we do this uh, to s certain other extents. You'll also notice that when he's uh, doing these glory kills, he's jumping first and looking down. That's because the uh, above an enemy glory kills are usually faster than any of the other ones. Specifically on Hell Knights, that is the case. That is why I'm doing it. Yeah, and we... I've got all my combat rating. That summoner can go Very now. nice. Now I just have to not die for the rest of this encounter, which is still a little tricky if you, uh, you're slow on stuff. Uh, cue ball, cool. It's close encounters. Yeah, I think I've seen, like, at least two or three of those challenges complete do we in this arena. Do we spend <laughs> chainsaws? Oh. Oh. Uh, chainsaws uh, also count as, uh, I, as, a glory I kills? I accidentally chain, yeah, they do. I accidentally chainsawed a, um... A revenant earlier, so I don't actually have enough ammo to get the chainsaw at the end there, which is unfortunate. But hey, I'll figure it out somehow. That's the fun of this game: routing and figuring out. I have one of the hardest challenges in the run coming up, so uh, could use um, serious time? Question mark? Is I feel like yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> where uh, where are you guys? We are in Argent Facility Destroyed currently. This no, no, no. Is, and uh, also like, Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh, yes. yeah. And, and what time is it there? Uh, it's currently 12.08 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so is there, is there like a gaming convention going on that week there yeah. or something? Yeah, this is uh, Games Done Quick, a week-long 24-7 charity speedrun marathon. So. And it's like a couple days? Uh, a whole week. And are people like staying at that hotel? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and we have a, a gorgeous crowd behind us. Make some noise, everybody. Yeah, yeah. like it's incredible. Like we I, are... when I turn this on, I'm like, holy cow, there's <laughs> tons of people there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're this all... is like your great con. Yes. Oh, yes. It is, and we're all here benefiting yeah. uh, the Prevent Cancer Foundation yeah, this th week. So this is the Quake Con of speedrunning, if that makes sense. <laughs> and so you're just speed running stuff all week. Yes. Yep. All is there day, like a day. land a land party there and stuff? Oh, we <laughs> pretty much all the time. Yep. <laughs> On some of the PCs, let's just say some some of us. I'm not gonna say who, but maybe it might be certain Doom aficionados were maybe using computers to play Quake instead of practice. For <laughs> Don't know who, but it could be the case. You're exposing does, us. Does the hotel have like a BYOC? Uh, no, uh, they don't. Chair? The event brings computers. Yeah. Y yeah. Cool. We are thankful that GDQ has powerful computers enough so that we don't have to lug our gaming stations across the country. <laughs> okay, all right. So, Argent Facility destroyed. I mastered Explosive Shot uh, because we're going to start working on it. We have to direct hit imps. Uh, this is where you'll see a technique known as Jimmy Shotting, which is basically if you melee before firing an Explosive Shot, which I didn't do there, but I'll do here, the cooldown of the explosive shot will actually be reduced. There's no visual indicator for it, so you kind of just have to give it by feel. But we will use this to uh, basically get a lot of uh, ticks on it because this encounter is primarily imps and timers. Yeah, the Jimmy shot works through some of the same function that the instant siege mode shot works, but it's like a much weirder timing. I've, I've never been able to get it anywhere near as consistent as the DK SMS, which is also another name for the instant siege mode, by the way. Yeah. You kind of have to feel it out as it says. Okay. 
So, uh, we five ticks away on double trouble. That's pretty good for where I That's need really to good. be, I yeah. think. That's really good, yeah. As long as you have it done before, like, uh, Lazarus 2, like, you're... you're... Uh, in this route, we actually want it done by the end of this level. Okay, that is much stricter than I remember. <laughs> Meta has learned the 100% classic route before, and the routing is slightly different because reloading checkpoint and not being on the highest difficulty do change everything quite a bit. The route has changed. I learned this category, I think, three, year, four years ago now. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just the amount of changes is it's very substantial. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Oh, also, we, I forget, should have mentioned this, but I picked up Stun Bomb earlier. This is just a, a great opportunity to get it. Hold on. Could you all stop this? Yeah, Thank you. Need... Trying to get a double One more tick. tick. Nice. We Very are. nice. Got it mastered here. And now we're going to move on to Devastator around mastery for basically everything. <sighs> so now we have mastered the uh, remote debt, right? Yep. And we have mastered Heat the blast. super shotgun. But specifically for the alpha rotation, we have two-thirds of the alpha rotation mastered now. So... Yeah. Damage is at an all-time high. <laughs> now we move on to Advanced Research Complex, where this is the second act low point, because this is my hardest level in the run, I'd say. It's very dangerous coming into it. Uh, but we have some levity. Uh, Devastator round ticks are getting headshots on enemies, but on the train, you count as an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That specifically only works on horizontal moving platforms, and we don't know why. Because <laughs> Doom. Because Doom. Because Doom. Cause doom. <laughs> I don't know how the coding makes that work, but thank goodness it does, because free ticks. Whenever we don't know the answer to something in this game, the answer is because Doom. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, we are going to do some quick little things here, basically just getting some uh, collectibles before this next nice. thing. So, uh, Joker, if you could hit us with a donation, I'd appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. We've got $25 from Kaz, the Waste of Rage. They say, donating because my dad had his second round of chemo today. Let's eradicate cancer. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. you got time for one more. All right. We have $25 from Will Does Stuffs. Do you think Doom Guy would play at GDQ if he was real? And what game do you think he'd be speedrunning other than the obvious? I mean, it's got to be Animal Crossing, right? Of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Animal Crossing. I think so. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So uh, I have to work on a few challenges coming up here, primarily glory killing zombies from behind. And there's just a lot of zombies in this hallway, so I'm going to do that right now. Get a glory kill, get a devastator round tick. Nice. Get a so with the, with these zombies right now, you are getting bottle opener done, you are getting savagery done, armor defensive, the devastator rounds. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. Uh, there's a lot to keep track, a lot of multitasking all throughout this whole run. Uh, okay. You really need to, like, when you're routing and running 100%, uh, you look at enemies as resources, which is, wow. Yeah, by the way, awesome. the level was designed by David Fargo. Mm. Uh, so that's my arch nemesis, <laughs> who's ended many of my runs. Uh, well, we're just getting a bunch of uh, explosive shot ticks. We're going to go into a very difficult encounter. Uh, I'm going to try to explain it best I can, but instantly we'll have two Mancubi spawn, and I need to dispatch them right away. And let's see here. Okay, good. We're on to the second phase where two Hell Knights, or actually Hell Knights in general, will be spawning. But we don't want to kill too much. Because if we kill too much, that'll make this next wave spawn in, and we actually won't have enough combat rating for the level. So I'm just going to try not to kill things. Hi, yeah. Hell Knight. Uh, CR is pretty tight. In yeah, I'm only going to kill a little bit here. I think, it, did I chainsaw Hell Knight in the earlier this encounter? I don't think I, I don't did. think you did, no. Okay, so unfortunately I killed a little bit too much there, so the summoner will spawn in some enemies. That is fine. I can just let it spawn in enemies as a backup. So we see that she's back there right now. Okay, and I think we have enough to where I can just grab this, and this is what Bite Me would famously call a point-and-click adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So because we have all the glory kill runes maxed, we can literally just 
kill things from like 20 feet away, and it's great. So, yeah, we have both range and speed upgrades, I believe. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. anything else? What did that floor ever do to you? Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Because I accidentally chainsawed out a Revenant in literally the last level, I'm going to have to grab a backup ammo. This is fine. Um, this is fine. Everything's this is fine. fine. I think there's um, one enemy. It's actually not an imp. The enemy that causes you to look for it is the shield soldier. It's a soldier. It's, yeah, this or but, yeah. Luckily, I think it's this specific soldier, too. Okay, so we're going to meet Samuel Hayden. And by meet Samuel Hayden, I mean skip his cutscene. <laughs> so I'm going to just wiggle at this, looking for the exact spot I can clip in. And we're hitting. Nice. Route. Okay. Very nice. So we love Samuel Hayden. Great voice acting, great character. But it's two minutes, 45 seconds talking to him. So instead, we're going to clip out of bounds, grab a secret level. Nice. Yeah, that Not trigger. Not fall out of bounds. <laughs> Good luck. That trigger extends ever so slightly out of bounds, so we just like inch on top of it without falling down, and we can just barely right. grab it. Where I just dropped down to was the elevator after you get done talking to Samuel Hayden. Uh, and I'm going to try to clip back oh, in bounds no. by doing a little bit of a lineup. I am. Walk forward, jump, and we just got to oh. wait for the zombie over here. Come over here, bud. I believe in you going to pull out my chainsaw. Okay, first of all, I'm sitting here slack-jawed because you just did, like, the hardest out-of-bounds movement in the game, just, like, without making a comment. <laughs> and we are... And you're back in. Very back nice. In Great job, Rytro. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was amazing. Yeah, uh, Meta, that is that was the hardest out-of-bounds until we rerouted Vega. Stay in tune for that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we are uh, now on the other side of the Samuel Hayden cutscene, moving on to this combat fight here. Huh. So the whole goal of this is to farm masteries and get stuff while doing it. Uh, Cybermax spawns in. He's dead. And then it'll be fodder galore. <laughs> okay. Nope. And See ya. Yep. <laughs> Mancubus Space Division. All right. Yeah, and if I do everything correctly, a Mancubus will spawn in. Just kidding, it's ammo. <laughs> <sighs> okay, thank. Yeah, all I saw was an ammo shower. <laughs> all right, so we are moving on to this next run trial for Blood Fields, which is we can't move and we can't move until we kill something, and we can only kill something by shooting. So shoot and move. Shoot and move. Shoot and move. Uh, this is just going to be me huddling at the corner, uh, waiting for things to come to me. So, uh, Joker, if you could do me a favor and read me a donation. How about a limerick? Sure. I've got a $50 donation here from Aerobreaker. A limerick for you, good announcer. There once was a sicko named Doom Guy, who demons all fled when they did spy. He killed them all, though. To hell he did go, and made every demon he found cry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, hit us with all your, your limericks and, and all your others. Uh, I, for one, know for a fact that Meta loves bad puns. Yes. So <laughs> if you could donate more of those, appreciate it. Yeah, let's get a $5 train rolling with those. <laughs> Every time someone donates a pun. I will uh, do my best $5. to maintain my composure as I listen to them. And then with that donation, <laughs> don't use your message as a pun. And then it's an infinite recursion loop and, and infinite money for charity. <laughs> Well, if, if you want, I've got uh, one already in the in the barrel. Please. Let's hear it. All right, yeah. we've got $10 from Bear Grifter. I have to donate during one of my all-time favorite games. I'm feeling a bit impish, though, so I have to throw in some puns. I appreciate you bearing with the mood since I'm just revving it up. I'll leave now. I'll probably take the Mankey bus home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cyber Demon. Anyway, mad props to the extremely talented Rytro, the commentators, GDQ Tech Crews, the devs for Doom 2016, and to Mick Gordon for the next level soundtrack. Much love. Absolutely. And while I had to stand through that, I, I do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so all that speed meant nothing because we have to wait for this. Oh! <laughs> I. That door can lose its collision as Life well, by the way. Before my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just going to grab, we have to move around events, like um, some popular uh, child's game. And we have to get some more collectibles. Uh, 
Actually, Joker, if you don't mind, would like a few more donations, if you could. Uh, why not? I've got $50 from Jesse Lockhart. Always hyped for a Doom 2016 run, and Ritro is ripping and tearing this run so convincingly, he's making a demonic charcuterie board. Looking forward to Awful Block after this. Good luck to all the runners, and let's get that one million mark. Maybe by the end of Awful Block? Perhaps an awful train? We can do it. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we're about to enter the BFG division. So if anyone knows what that's a reference to, <laughs> uh, it's obviously the hit soundtrack of, I think this entered everyone's heavy metal playlist, the song going to be coming up here after we get to this combat. It's in mine. Uh, but we're just going to go around and pick up a few minor collectibles. Uh, Hugo, if you don't mind, a little bit of insight. How did you guys go about, like, designing slash balancing the BFG in this game as we're about to get to it? Uh, we don't. <laughs> uh, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's very tricky because it's a uh, great gun, you know, iconic to the franchise, but uh, it is the kill everything button. So, uh, you know, it's it's at the player's discretion, and when they want to murder everything, they could they could do it. <laughs> yeah, toy. that is it. Yeah, normally it's a little bit balanced by having uh, a finite number of pickups that you can only have th th only pick up through the yeah, run. Uh, we will subvert that a little bit, but before we get to that, we got to get to the BFG. Now, there's this whole security thing about if we just walk in this door. So instead, I'm going to line up here, set up a Gauss boost. Nice! Nice! <laughs> skip the whole sequence. <sighs> All right, moving on to this next arena. I want to master Devastator rounds going into this. Uh, so what I'm going to quickly do is get that and go for a bunch of headshots. Now, normally we're supposed to BFG here. That's kind of the point. Oh. Oh, those barrels. The barrels. And then the checkpoint. <laughs> accidentally, uh, the barrel. I'm going to have to route this in a little bit later. It's OK. That's part of the run. Routing on the fly is how it is. <sighs> OK. That's 100%, baby. Yeah, that is 100%. <laughs> All right. Moving on, we get to what uh, the rune trial of intimacy is best, which Let's demons in glory kill get damage resistance so we can glory kill them. You may notice by how few glory kills I've done in this run that glory killing is not too fast. Casually, it helps out by restacking your health, but uh, we unfortunately, it's just faster to shoot them out of it. Mm. So this rune is not optimal for speed runs. It has its use in casual play, but just not here. So our goal throughout the next level or two is to master this rune as fast as possible by getting demons in glory kills about 100 times. Uh, cool. And coming up here is actually the begin. I'm so glad we get Intimacy's best right here because now we have the best farming session for this. Let's hope I can get it all right because this is a very difficult trick. So first things first, in order to master it, you have to equip the rune. And I'm going to boost over here. I've equipped Heat Blast. What I'm going to do is kill these engineers as they will explode. I'm going to charge up two blips of Heat Blast, get all these guys in glory kill. Uh, two pinkies spawn in. I'm going to kill them instantly. Uh, okay. Lost souls, get away from me. Put more of them in glory kill. And then coming out of it, as soon as they get out of glory kill, fire up BFG. Uh, that's a little low, but we'll take it. That is about 30 ticks for intimacy is best. Not bad. <sighs> All right, but right after that, we get into some insane combat here. Uh, remember when I said that if I don't kill things quick enough that I won't, might not have enough combat rating? We're here. Um, I have to kill all these Hell Knights before Summoner spawns, or else I just won't have literally enough... Okay. Combat rating. Ah! Uh, unfortunately, I got hit by an Imp right there, so I wasn't able to get it. So we're going to have to let the Summoner summon in some things. That's okay. This is That's called okay. backup strats. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so now... Okay, I wanted to lock on its death, but whatever. Okay, and now that the summoner's dead, this will begin the third and final phase where everything will spawn in. I'm just going to wait until everything spawns in by grabbing a couple BFG ammo, because we just got it. The game is very generous and gives us a bunch of ammo. I'm gonna fire a BFG. 
and kill everything now that everything's spawned in. Uh, I've got to fire a second one because not everything died. It's okay. We have backup BFG for this reason. Oh, wait. Did I miss the BFG up there? I think I might have. Uh, whoopsie daisy. Don't mind. And we are just barely short on combat rating, unfortunately. Oh, no. Eh, it's okay. We'll continue the run anyhow. Just to showcase, you know, we're out the GDQ. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> and now we're good. There we go. Demonic presence Lockdown. That casually was such a jump scare, <laughs> and I probably half the reason I watch people's casual playthroughs is them to react to when that happens. That's a very big oh no <laughs> moment. Okay, we're moving into Lazarus. Now, Lazarus, uh, this is a hot take in the speedrun community. This is my favorite level to speedrun. I also have community gold in it, but that is besides the point. Um, <laughs> Unrelated. Yep. I'm going to upgrade the pistol because we're going to start working on the mastery for that instantly. Uh, one little fun fact about the elevator is if you see all the pistol shells, they're like little beans. They're, they're just bouncing up and down. They're doing a little dancey. <laughs> or joining them. <laughs> uh, it's such a something that's completely pointless, but I love it. It's just an interesting quirk. Okay. Uh, it is not a moving up here, we have to kill uh, a lot of enemies real quick for a challenge of this level, so I'm just going to BFG down this hallway. And I don't think I got it, actually. All right. And another challenge is glory killing soldiers. Uh, I did not mean for that. Uh, Pinky got caught in the crossfire. Okay, cool. Uh, so, Variety is the Spice of Death. Uh, that's the Gory Kill Challenge for killing the soldiers. We gotta work on all those coming up here, uh, which is just five different Gory Kills on soldiers. I'm spawn camping a couple enemies before starting this. This encounter, there's not a lot going on because it's basically timer focused. We are waiting for Hell Knights to spawn. So, we this is our farming masteries while we're waiting for spawns. Okay. Um. Whew. Nice, blood feels done. That's good. Yeah. It is. Oh, it is cool. Um, <laughs> thank you for reminding oh. me. I, I, was too, I was too focused on looking for things. Appreciated. So uh, many great levels in this game. I, I love how fast you could play this level. Yeah. Um, this is actually one of the longest levels if you include both Lazarus 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Okay, I'm just waiting for this Hell Knight to spawn. Uh chainsawing here and one final bfg will do it and we are and there's, basically done oh, nice you except for the eagle there beautiful yeah i mean we're supposed to get it a little earlier but we don't talk about that <laughs> right. yeah i think i've probably mentioned it already but like we are always working on like probably more than two challenges at once, whether that's for the weapons, for the runes, or like the level specific challenges. Yep, uh, we are just going to be moving around Lazarus. And I said I would explain it a little bit later, and this is the time. I mean, bunny hopping in this game. How it works is that um, you actually have a very short window to hit the ground and keep your speed. Because, you know, if you're on the ground too long, friction. So we want to jump before, uh, you know, we get friction. But what happens is the double jump in this game has this weird property where the gods of aerodynamics will hate us for uh, <laughs> ever dare double jumping. So uh, we have to time it so that we don't double jump too early before, uh, before we hit the ground, but also not late enough to where friction slows us down. And that whole window is about a 60th of a second. Also, Bloodshot flinched here. You, yes, may have yes, I did. <laughs> you may have noticed for a brief second there was like this big enemy in the hallway there. I, I don't know why, but that is a 100% consistent like visual glitch. Um, and you'll see that big enemy later. You, watched, you might recognize it. I watched him do three practice runs. I didn't see it. So it's, like, it's like it's seriously for like one or two frames. I'm not going to spoil so, what it is, but... Go ahead, okay. Hugo. Oh, no, 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 uh, Hugo, go ahead. Hugo, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to spoil it. I mean, we could save it. Yeah, we could save it. Let's just say that right. was alluding to something that might happen in the future. Who knows? <laughs> if only that maybe we're going to meet whatever that was. 
Nah. So, so this is Rich Get Richer's Rune Trial. Rich Get Richer is... Um, mm, mm, it's good. It's, it's just good. What else can we say? Very fun. It's definitely, yeah, I mean, much like we have uh, alpha weapons, there's definitely, or sorry, uh, there's the alpha rotation of weapons. We mu very much have an alpha rotation for, uh, or an alpha set of runes. RGR, which get richer, is absolutely one of those. Of course, for most of this run, because we're going for 100%, we're basically going to be having to equip the current uh, runes that we're mastering. But once we've mastered all of them, RGR is a solid pick. We'll explain exactly what that does when we equip it in a little bit later in this level. Uh, but for now, pistol, headshot, mastery. And you may notice that enemy just dropped a BFG. Uh, when you master ammo boost, uh, ammo boost basically lets every enemy you face... Oh, by the way, bye enemies. Uh, every enemy you face have a small chance of dropping ammo. And when they drop ammo, there's about a 5% chance that they drop BFG ammo instead. And BFG is a free room kill, so... Um, yeah. Let's just say uh, we kill a lot of demons, so we're going to get a chance to roll for that so often. And this fight, this fight we have quad damage. That's, that's, that's the breakdown. This fight is absolutely beautiful. I think every single spawn is static, if I remember correctly. Uh, not every. Some fodder okay. can be a little yeah, yeah, randomized. Yeah. And I got a free BFG, so I can't, like, not fire beautiful. it. Beautiful. Okay, and now it's only a certain number of enemies, so we are good. Okay, gonna grab this and leave immediately. Uh, this next fight has something that's a little funny about it. So there's an elevator, and we have to open this elevator by hitting a button, and that button only gets unlocked when we complete the fight, at least visually. Uh, in practice, it's a little different. So I'm gonna grab this haste, oh, which reminds me, uh, cool. And, yeah, <laughs> security not verified, it doesn't care. You can just hit that button. <laughs> it just It works. is the one button where they, they never quite deactivated, which slipped through the cracks. Okay, so firing a BFG to clear out the rest of this wave, and we are out of here. Whew. That is Laz 1. We're on to the second part of the level. I am going to make... Uh coffee. Fair. Absolutely. Oh. I need it. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Well, while we are up here, we are uh, basically, if you're wondering lore, we'll break down the lore real quick. I would love to play Candy Crush on that computer, but I'm afraid there's not enough time, so we will move on. There's a little Candy Crush minigame in Olivia's office. It's kind of funny. So after we got back from hell, it failed in stopping the invasion. Uh, basically, Samuel Hayden was like, Dude, Doom Slayer, we got this ancient slab, which is how we learned how to harness all this energy from hell and whatnot, that we uh, have a bunch of information on. But you are the literal Doom guy who kills demons for a living. Maybe this slab can help you figure out how to stop the invasion. And that's why we're here. So now that we got the lore recap finished, let's do combat encounters part two. Um, as Meta already said, there are three types of combat encounters. There's static spawns, as in where enemies will spawn the same way every time. There's random spawns, where they'll spawn randomly from a set of few spawns that are possible. And then there is based on line of sight and positioning. This is the, f the third option, where I am attempting to master intimacy as best here. By the way, let me uh, very quickly equip Rich Get Richer. Uh, by getting as many demons and glory kill as I can. So there will be imps that spawn in, and because I'm looking at this direction, they will spawn directly in front of me. I'm going to put them in glory kill to kill them, uh, to get them in, you know, glory kill, obviously, and then I'm going to siege mode them. Then hopefully have siege mode and intimacy is best mastered by the end of this. We'll see how well I do in practice, though. If I'm slightly off in viewing, model, curt, positioning, crosshair, they will spawn in a different direction and I won't be able to effectively farm, so. They also will spawn on the upper balcony and especially the imps really love to run away out of your sight. And then obviously because we have influence spawns here, you like track to hit them and then everything else starts spawning there. So this can get out of hand very quickly. Uh-huh, okay, we're good. Did we explain HR yet? Or RGR? Not yet. What were you saying? 
Rich get richer. Oh, rich get richer? Oh, rich get richer. If I am above <laughs> 100 armor, I have infinite ammo. So you can imagine, if you play this game well, like you're, I don't know, a speedrunner, put a few hours in this game, etc., <laughs> you get rewarded for playing well, but with infinite ammo, which we will definitely abuse this a lot throughout the run. Yeah, so imagine um, the max damage attachment that we have on uh, the Gauss Cannon, and we skip the animation. Plus, we also have infinite ammo. <laughs> oh, they finally learned to go behind you. Yeah, the Mancubus will always spawn at the set location. Yeah, uh, those are statics. And that was a pretty good... Yeah, pi well done. We call that Pyroom. We are literally one tick away from mastering as Missy is best. That was a really good run. And now, and the Missy's best is mastered. Awesome. I'm uh -huh. going to equip ammo boost. You missed it. We were just complimenting the slab. <laughs> and we were talking about the pie room. <laughs> you call them the donut rooms. We call, the, we call that one specifically. That's the pie room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now, after all that, we're just going to pick up some miscellaneous collectibles for a few seconds. So, Joker, if you don't mind, a donation to bide the time. Well, absolutely. I do also want to mention we have a few incentives and bid wars available. Obviously, we have the big one for tomorrow, the Halo Combat Evolved two-player run. Uh, it is an upgrade to legendary difficulty. We're about 18% of the way there. We do have some time left, but I wanted to make sure that we do get those donations in for that. I do have a $5 donation from Pixel Knight, who asks, what's Doom Guy's favorite manga? Berserk. What? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I actually didn't see that coming. That was probably more on me than the witticism. But, um, you know what? Good regardless. I got a BFG ammo. I'm using it. Oh, but they oh that, was, I, that was uh, something. The, the game is giving me more BFG than I could possibly use. Why? <laughs> this is marathon luck, but like in the good way. Look at all that challenge complete. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, he wants Okay. Uh, so... Uh, I need, like, one more tick for pistol. Excuse me. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. I really expected you to use the BFG on that one zombie. Oh, is this good enough for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had an extra. You can't, like, waste the BFG. Of course not. No. No, oh, saving throw. How about saving throw, right? Save it. You, this is the one of the hardest rune trials casually because... You take one hit and you're dead. But I only have a Gauss rifle with siege mode. So whatever, whatever will can you I do. do. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, casually, this really tests your like positioning and stuff because you have to charge up the siege mode, which takes like a good four seconds, five seconds, by the way. Um, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> which game is uh, easier to speed run, Eternal or 2016? Oh, that is oh. such a great question. I'm going to be real. It depends on what you mean by easy. It also depends on which category. I mean, if we're talking about 100% Ultra Nightmare, because that's the category we're running. Right, Troy, you've run both, so... Yes. Uh, I will say, to stay alive, Doom 2016 is definitely harder. To... Like, how depthful, how complicated the speedrun can go goes to Eternal. There is a lot of good movement tech. And Doom 2016 is unfortunately just a little bit too simple in design to really compete with the behemoth that is Doom Eternal speedrunning. They're both still awesome. fantastic runs. They're oh, both yeah. very fun Beautiful. runs in their own right, don't get me wrong. Sometimes the simple experience is more enjoyable depending on your preferences. Although I say simple, but there is like a lot going on every instance if you heard <laughs> yeah. me talk. Simple as he masters like five things at once, sure. We just yeah, mastered okay. flight mobility. <laughs> right on time, Meta, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pick up this haste power up for an unexpected reason. But we are on to the last part of Lazarus, which you might not be expecting, but there are boss fights in this game. What? And what we are going to face is the perfect fusion of flesh and machine known as the Cyber Demon. Now, we have to be very particular here. Uh, the first phase, I'm going to BFG him, then do our alpha rotation, the siege mode, shotgun, rocket, for optimal DPS. And why do I have the haste power up here? Because I have a power up that will give a little damage shockwave when power ups ends. And the Cyber Demon's right behind this door, and he actually takes damage from 
that power up of wearing. No friggin' way. So it's a little bit optimal if you do that. I know that sounded sarcastic. I, I actually did not know that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a fun little thing. You're teaching me stuff. All right, I so first things first. I love that little sliver. And... Beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, it was great phase dead. one. Fantastic. Great phase one. What was that, like eight, seven seconds, eight seconds? <laughs> it could be faster. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to know how it could be faster? Sure. All right, so the BFG has this little hidden trick of that it deals damage. The tendrils of the BFG deal damage per frame the game is running, not, not per in-game time. So if we could stop time somehow... I imagine what can happen. But however, would do we that, do that? Can you? Oh. oh, I stopped time. <laughs> and he's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's a good phase two. Full CR, Cyber Demon dead. Mastery's mastered. Beautiful. And yes, uh, I would ask if Hugo was surprised by that, but uh, they fixed that in Doom Eternal, thank goodness, because... <laughs> That kind of melts bosses instantly. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that BFG time slow trap saves literally two seconds. <laughs> yeah, alpha rotation is just incredibly powerful. It is a lot so. of DPS. It's, it's funny that, yeah. <laughs> so, Hugo, we only have about four levels left in the run. What do you think so far? Just general impressions. I'm always blown away. I mean, I think the... Uh... Just the whole community of speedrunning and the way that you guys figure all this stuff out, memorize it, it's just uh, fascinating to me, you know? Mm -hmm. That you can even remember, like, uh, you know, just how to put it all together. Uh, it shows it, an enormous amount of dedication. It is Very a lot, and I mean a lot, of practice and remembering. Um, I had to yeah. have a document open for my first few runs just to make me sure too. I didn't forget. In fact, I'd, by the time that I had stopped running 100%, I, I still was using the document. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so we're moving on to the last few levels of the games, and these are all combat gauntlets, basically. We will uh, be... What's the, what's the phrase? Rip it. No, no. Ripping and or tearing. Ripping or, and or know. tearing. <laughs> Maybe so, a little bit of both. We are actually going to start working on mobile turret mastery, which is killing four things while the mobile turret's deployed. We gotta do that five times. So, uh... I beat that door. Okay, charge burst. All right, this next combat encounter, I really like it because I did the routing for it. <laughs> so first off, chainsaw animation cancel, cyber mancubus. Uh, dead, okay. Uh, regular mancubus dead. Uh, please tell me that rev died. Please tell me that rev died. It didn't. <sighs> okay, well, it's okay. We play off that. Imp. Where'd this imp go? Well, Hell Knight that I totally knew was coming, yep. Okay. I wasn't Two scared by that at all. <laughs> a, little, a little startled. And I'm going to fire rockets at that wall to kill that pinky from range. I need a little bit of the backup ammo. That is fine. Now... The fight doesn't stop. We pick the haste's power up from that fight, bring it into the next fight, and we pick up quad damage. So we fire faster, and we also deal four times the damage. So we're doing about like six to seven times the DPS with this current setup. Uh, so we got imps, imps, mancubus, revenants. Uh, we got more imps. Another hell knight, hell knight. Okay. So we got a few more Mancubus and Imps that spawn in. Cyber, come on. Lost the uh, haze, but we still have a quad. It's cool. Beautiful. Got that Dominator right as the quad ended. And Gauss boost into a glory kill from above for the challenge. Beautiful. I love Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Double jumps will not do it. You've got to actually get a little bit of... Oh, that is... The most some of the most optimized the, the game gets. That's some of my favorite routing, just to, just to see all of it get put together. All right, and but it don't stop here. Uh, I am going to equip a couple runes here, and you may notice I'm one health. Now, to master saving throw, I have to kill things while in the near-death state. So, BFG, rocket at the feet. And... And... Ten there, yes, nice! I'm Beautiful. De-equip saving throw to remove the slow-mo. 
I saw that like six and seven, and then it was like holding, and then I was holding, and we got it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, for this next trick, I think I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Joker, could you come over to yeah. to the to the uh, stand, please? I'm going sure. to charge the pistol. Okay. <laughs> And what I want you to do is hit the Z key on my keyboard. Just spam it. Just keep spamming it. <laughs> You've seen dog assistance. You ever seen host assistance? That is or? good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great job. And we have mastered equipment power. Thank you, Joker. Applause for Joker. <laughs> okay, so I am going to upgrade charge burst. Now, what happens there, why exactly it works, is because the mastery for equipment power actually only checks if you have equipment and if you press the equipment key. It doesn't matter if you're in a state to where you can't use the equipment. It doesn't check for it. That's just a nice little thing. And we're going to use that immediately. Uh, hold on. Did I equip vacuum? I'm uh, glad I checked. <laughs> so now we're working on charge, bat, charge burst, which is mancubus. Kill the mancubi. Here's a little bit of an optimization I found. One pinky, two pinky, fire rockets at the wall. And that's all Pinky's dead. Okay, yeah. now we want to master Rich Get Richer. Basically, if we get full armor, we get mastery ticks towards Rich Get Richer. So what I want to do during this is get full armor 12 times in a row. And how am I going to do that? Well, first things first, I am going to get full armor from an armor upgrade, grab a siphon grenade, and because I have equipment power mastered thanks to Joker, while I put this in here, I am going to stand in the goo and throw a siphon grenade at this guy and get full armor about seven different times. And 12 different times. Beautiful. Richer is mastered. Amazing. So yeah, obviously you're taking damage from the toxic pool and you're siphoning that right back from the zombie. Yes. Oh, so clever. We, uh, we designed that Valeria for that system. Really? Did you? Wow. Are, are, you are you lying to <laughs> I'm Thank totally you. lying. <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, regardless, our speedrunners appreciate that you made a little bit of a damaging surface for us. <laughs> All right, so this fight is cycle-based because we have to... Okay. Uh, am I good? I... You're good. I'm good. Okay. You're good. So now we have to grab this, but uh, we have to get a secret real quick. And while we get this secret, I'm going to touch on a point of nuance that uh, for armor defensive mastery. We're still mastering armor defensive mastery. We've been working on it ever since we equipped it in Argent Facility Destroyed. Uh, one point is, is like you have to pick up 2,500 armor. But what it doesn't tell you is that there's these upgrades in this game called Mega Health, which sets your armor and your health both to 200 at the same time. Uh, when you pick up a Mega Health, it will instantly give you 200 mastery towards armor defensive, regardless of how much armor you have. You could be full, zero, nothing. It gives you 200 mastery. So we'd be picking up every mega health from this point onward in order to master armor defensive. Okay. I actually didn't know that that worked at full HP. Yeah. Learn something new every day. Apparently I've learned like three things today. <laughs> All right, now this is totally not a fight. Except it kind of is. So we're integrating mobile turret tick mastery into regular combat, like on Lost Souls or weak enemies, because why not? They're quick to kill anyways, and we might as well get some mastery out of it. All right. All right, Hugo, while we're finishing up this combat here, I actually have a little bit of a question for you. Sure. Uh, if you had to pick, what would you say is the most, uh, the thing you enjoyed most about the run so far? Um. Any particular moment or just thing? I think you're, the stuff that you've done a couple of times where you min max, where you're like, you know, taking damage, delivering damage, or like, you know, gaming the BFG while also with low health. It's like those clever little moments where you're able to, you know, reduce hours of grind to seconds is kind of remarkable. Yeah, uh, that unfortunately I cannot take credit for. I have to give um, homage to all the UN runners who came before me. We are truly sitting on the shoulders of giants when it comes to speedrunning. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those routing. Well, those, uh, I've never, oh, go ahead, Hugo. I, I've never actually seen that, like the speed run that I saw um, at that at, uh, IGN one I think I was in was uh, just purely getting through it. Like I saw, I saw a lot of the rail boosting and, mm -hmm. you know, skipping giant sections and that was definitely incredible. But um, 
I, I don't believe during that run that they were also trying to hit masteries and things like that. I think they were just trying to get the game as fast as they could. Uh, this is my first time watching, I think it is, uh, someone do uh, masteries, uh, which has added a whole new dimension to this that I hadn't seen before. Absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. point that you're touching in upon is that a lot of people respect the any percent run. It is awesome. It's in its own right. But a lot of people like seeing the game done and if you have to do everything, what kind of challenges does that really, uh, right. you know, get? What what specific challenges are because of that? And I think that's a wild for a lot of people. They love the 100% UN category because you are uh, effectively doing everything on the highest difficulty and have to be a mastery of all of it, which is just a completely different experience than the any percent run. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, one thing I should mention, I don't think I actually mentioned this at, a, at all, uh, normally, c people run Ultra Nightmare, not Nightmare. That's kind of the difficulty the community chooses to run on. But Ultra Nightmare, as we said, is permadeath, so it is not marathon safe. For, so for demonstration purposes, of course, but this is on Nightmare. Yeah, but... Which I think, due to the heat-seeking imps, <laughs> that's going to make it a, a bit unfair. Uh, a little. There are many points in this run where it's just you instantly die if you're doing optimal speed strats, and we just take that risk every time because uh, right. if we stop to kill them, that's a couple frames. Yeah. Uh, gotta save them. Yeah. Although Raitro is running on Nightmare, this is the Ultra Nightmare route. Yeah. So yeah. normally you're able to abuse uh, low checkpoints in Classic slash Nightmare if you want to. However, um, on Ultra Nightmare, you can't load checkpoint because that goes against the dev intention of permadeath. Because imagine you're just about to die, and then you load checkpoint. <laughs> like, that's, that's a death in spirit, so they tried to prevent that. Yeah, and if you're wondering about the route implications, even just beyond like going to the last checkpoint to save time on like platforming or whatever, uh, loading checkpoint can lead to certain duplication glitches with the Argen cells, with the weapon mod bots, uh, yeah, there's there's definitely a significant route change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a shout out again to Dangerous and Darave. If you're ever interested for how broken this game can get with the load checkpoint feature, definitely check out one of their runs. Okay, so we've put in the skull in, and now we're going on to this quad damage fight. Uh, we're guess what? We're just gonna siege mode things. Um, that's kind of the fight. Oh, which Hell reminds yeah. me, I'm supposed. This to is do. my favorite 100% fight. So this is all stuff I think we've seen before. So Joker, if you want to do me a favor and give another blurb, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I can do that. We have, let's see here, $5 from Siphon Moss, who says, go Ritro, rip and tear Cancer's body. Yo, what's up, Syph? Thank you so much, dude. Uh, you got time for one more? One more. All right, $20 from Johan von Vorst, who says, cool Ritro fact. Despite being a speedrunner and going very fast, Ritro has yet to hit Mach 2, as he has not played the hit game and flight sim VTOL VR with his good pal Johan, despite my best efforts. Let's pick up the pace, buddy. Go, go, go. I, well, out of all the donation messages I was expecting today, I was not expecting Johan to come in here <laughs> with that. Thank you, Johan, and maybe. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We are moving on to perhaps my favorite fight in the 100% route. I'm going to do my best to give it justice. Shout out to Minifish and Bite Me, who basically significantly routed this to perfection. First things first, there's three imps that spawn in. I'm going to wait for them. Stun bomb, this. We're going to do a precise kill on a pinky, just barely hitting its tail. Use a siege mode to bounce back to specters, kill both of them. Revenant spawns in. And then as soon as we go here, there'll be a Hell Knight. Revenant will jump up. Uh, two bear. Oh, did nobody saw that. <laughs> and BFG to kill the two Barons. And yeah, fight over. Done. Wow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the Necropolis. Why are we in HE double hockey sticks? Well, in order to close the portal to hell from the slab information we got earlier, there's this artifact called the Crocobile. Uh, which, fun fact, if you go into uh, some instances in the Doom Eternal source code, have it misspelled. So 
We always, as a community, just lightheartedly call it the crack Oh, I was like, huh? Yeah, I had, yeah. He's been saying that all week, and I had no idea why. <laughs> really? Yeah, but I just didn't ask. You guys just, just go with it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a, an artifact that can close the hell portal. Uh, there's the icon of skin, I, icon of sin. <laughs> are we uh, sure that the thing I don't was think misspelled I don't, or? I don't think. <laughs> are we sure? Uh, yeah. <laughs> unless everyone who's modded the game lied to me, I don't think so. Okay. So this is another fight where we're just basically siege boating until it's done. Um, oh, shout out to Rip and Tear, great OST. Uh, okay, there should be one Cybermac here. And I think that's it. Okay, everything's dead. Okay, we picked up the haste power up. Now, one thing we didn't say about haste is sure, it makes you do stuff faster, but it also reduces your cooldowns. So, I can just do two siege mode shots. <laughs> just like that. You're just deleting. And... and and we're done with that hallway. Fun fact, people, if you ever try to beat this game with only a pistol, that is the hardest encounter by far. I can imagine. Which, by the way, as we're going to get into the second boss fight, spoilers, uh, one of the things I really appreciate about this game is you can see how fair it is and how you can really do everything with handicapping yourself. Like, I beat this game using only a pistol before on Nightmare, and... I was surprised with how fair the bosses were, how most of the encounters were fair, but of course, trapped in a hallway with no good source of DPS, it kind of fails. Huh. Yeah, and that is pistol only, no equipment, by the way. We call yes. it we call it Pony, P-O-N-E. Um, and yeah, that means no frag grenades, no nothing, just the pistol. All right, here are the Hell Guards. These are guardians of hell who, divide, who protect places of importance to it. And we're going to have to take them on. I wonder what we'll do. They're also worms. So a little, little backstory. Uh, you, you'll see those, those worms dead uh, in the earlier parts of the levels. They're on the ground. And we were going to have it so those worms were actually an AI that you would fight in the game uh, oh. level. But it didn't mm. work out that way. Mm. There is a way to one cycle the fight. However, I got slightly off on it, uh, but it's okay. We still got the kill. That's cool. Uh, but that's cool. I actually never noticed the worm effect before. That's a neat. Yeah, where where did you say they were? They're lying on the ground uh, in one of the tunnels. I think before you get here. Oh, okay. Ah, neat. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go. All look right. For that. So, if we beat that guy easy, well now there's two of them, and I wonder what we can possibly do to fight these guys. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. You're probably one. wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. That will instantly deplete their health bar. So, I'm going to try to kill this second one very quick off this glory kill. And if you notice. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's. Hey, you know, we, we take I got those. the same animation twice. Now, normally you're supposed to do two separate animations. But because I got to this guy quick enough, I played the first one twice, which is great because that Gorgil animation is slightly quicker. Mm -hmm. Also, random thing. Uh, you have to be standing outside of this red circle to interact with this. And then you can, like, once it's spawned up, you can walk in and interact with it. But if you're standing inside this red circle and then you try and interact with it, it doesn't work. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Doom. I, I, I and don't that know. is that <laughs> boss fight. <sighs> Okay, we're in the final two levels of the game, people. Final two levels. We're on the home stretch. Welcome to Vega, which is, if you know, that computer AI that has been helping us out this whole time. And because we just got the crucible, the crocobile, uh, whenever <laughs> we need to go back to hell, and the only way we can generate enough energy to go back to hell is by destroying Vega, which is unfortunate. But that's what we got to do. Uh, so, uh, Joker, if you don't mind, I would like one quick donation as we get to the next part of this uh, level. I can do that for you, buddy. We got $250 from Ember with five R's. Good luck on the run to my favorite Doomer, Rytro with an underscore. <laughs> super, super proud to see you get a run into GDQ, dude. Uh, thanks, Ember. Uh, Ember's one of my good friends. Shout-outs to her. 
Uh, okay, that was perfect movement. Uh, <laughs> moving in, we are going into this maintenance hatch, and we have to get five glory kills on imps. Uh, Variety is spice of death. Okay. Oh, please. We're cool there. Um, actually, heck, where did they go? Oh, no. They dispersed. This is going to... Well, I'm going to have to... It's improv time. Improv. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I got an idea. What if I do this? All right. Um, we just need one more glory kill. I'm fine That's with okay. that. Okay, so I'm going to do the last out of bounds of the run. And this is the most dangerous and probably the hardest out of bounds of the run, too. So I'm going to do actually two paper clips into two surfaces, then jump. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh. I right. clung onto collision. It's okay. I'll load checkpoint and we'll do that again. Out of bounds can be sticky sometimes. Yeah, that was just an instance of sticky collision. Uh, and there we go. Variety's oh. done now anyway. It was all on purpose. That checkpoint was <laughs> definitely valuable for some reason. Okay, <laughs> let's give that another shot, all right? So again, two paper clips back to back. First, we got to clip into this little wall right here. And then we have to clip into the wall behind that wall. Kind of slam ourselves out. Uh, and then I'm going to grab a secret level. Cool. Nice. And now I have to make it to climb back up this out of bounds collision. And because I'm triggering this encounter from out of bounds, there's normally two fights here. For some reason, if you trigger the fight from out of bounds, it spawns both of them in at the same time. So oh. two late game fights at the same time. And we have a BFG, so. On the hardest difficulty, remember. <laughs> yep. Okay, we are good here. And then just one more BFG and I can maybe end the fight. Okay. Also, the music's a banger. I, again, I cannot over tell you how much I love the soundtrack of both of all the Doom games, DLCs included. All the composers did such a great job. Do you have a preference? Uh, if you're asking for my favorite, track. If you're asking for my favorite track. I actually think it goes to Andrew Holschult. I think who did the track for Blood Swamps in the first DLC. Oh yeah, that it's just it it hits different. All right, I'm gonna equip equipment power here to hopefully get three enemies with one grenade. We did it. Beautiful. I cannot tell you how. Uh, <laughs> How many runs that challenge itself has ended? I and think, that's, yeah, that's pretty much the only consistent spot for Gora Pinata, right? And some maniacs, absolute legends, or absolute uh, crazy people do that without equipment power, and I cannot understand why. They're just built <laughs> different. Okay, so in Vega, we got, uh, you may notice, we're keeping our Rich Get Richer up by just grabbing all these mega healths, which is exactly as intended. Infinite ammo is actually fast, believe it or not. Okay, and now we're moving into the four filter fight, where there are a bunch of filters we gotta destroy, and each filter we destroy will bring in some more demons. So I'm gonna try to do this uh, as fast as I can. So first things first. One BFG there. Oh, I actually don't have BFG here. Ah, uh, I gotta improvise. Normally I pick up one. Uh, it's cool. I'm good, just gonna go up here. Hi there. Just saying hi to hi. my friend the Baron. Oh, not me? Yeah, and then he did make me lose my Rich Get Richer there. Luckily, there's a couple backup spots. There is armor right here and armor right here, and I'm going to take that. Yeah, uh, you have it mastered. You have RGR mastered, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. The difference there being... Oh, oh. oh. Uh, hold on. Yep. I slightly goofed up the input timing there. Uh, now that I got all the combat reading I needed from this, I am just going to be out of here. And we nice. lost Rich <laughs> thanks to that summoner hitting me on the way out. It's yeah. cool. I don't need that ammo anyways, because you know what I do have ammo in? True. <laughs> this is actually the biggest fight in the whole run. It's honestly my favorite combat encounter casually, because I don't play using BFG, and this fight just keeps coming and coming and coming. It's great. 
Uh, but it's basically just a bunch of BFG in here. And welcome to the late game. So. All right. Ah. I'm curious to see how many BFGs you use in this. Okay, so that's three right there. Oh. This Cybermank didn't die, and he's the trigger demon. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I walked right into that Cybermank shooting me in the face on that mantle. That is unfortunate. It happens. It happens. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll run it back. Uh, well, I guess, uh, Hugo, quick question. When you made Ammo Boost, or I guess like when the creative team made Ammo Boost, uh, have a chance to give BFG, were you aware of how completely broken that would be? Or did you just like, yeah, it's broken, but let the let the kids have fun? <laughs> no, to be, be honest, there was there's more exploit in uh, 2016 than, than intended. I don't know that you ever intend for an exploit, but sometimes it's just... There's a line, you know, it's like, hey, look, if they do X, Y, and Z, they earned it. Like, you know, who cares? Like, if they want to play that way, yeah, uh, why not? But there's other, admittedly, there's more in 2016 than we would like, you know? Mm. And that's not to interfere with your guys' speed runs. There's just definitely uh, little formulas where you're like, well, that's a little too easy to break this, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, I think that's a fair perspective. Rich Get Richer and things like that. Like, as fun as Rich Get Richer is... It's, it's subjective, though. It's like if you're good and you could, you know, not take damage and you get all the... Well, then you deserve the power, you know? Yeah. Um, I will say it does live up to its name. It does. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, moving on, we have our last rail boost of the run. Uh, I have nothing more other to say other than just enjoy. We call this vegan skip. So we're going to line up right here. Can we get one big... Wee! As soon as we go up here... Wee! Wee! <laughs> we Fantastic! The, and we skip the entire elevator section. Oh, and also the. Oh, I, and uh, I, you I lied. That was the last one. I love that hole in one there. <laughs> Gorgeous. So, unfortunately, we're gonna have to say bye to Vega, as they will, you know, be shut down by us destroying all their filters, coolant, and everything. So we, back, we backed them up. We, yeah, we hit back up. <laughs> I love it. And again, so much personality. Like you see just this tiny little hesitation. But then there's that moment of humanity. Bye, Vega. Bye, Vega. R.I.P. But we'll see you next time, you know? <laughs> All right. All right. Last level. We have Argent Dinner. Now, if anyone says that we're going to eat this level up like it's dinner, I've heard the joke already. <laughs> okay? I dinner if I can help myself. Stop! <laughs> we are gentlemen here. <laughs> I can't get away. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to... Ma this is the final level, so we are mastering everything we have not mastered yet. Cool. Uh, we are basically having a big combat gauntlet. Oh, wait, which reminds me. I didn't get the rest of Devastator round ticks. Mm, it's okay. We'll get this. Uh, because I don't have Rich Get Richer, I'll play this a little bit differently. I'm going to have to uh, basically get a few chainsaws during this fight. But as BFG, as we said, it's a little overpowered. Uh, and hopefully we can be good here with it. So we're mastering Precision Bolt by headshotting some Hell Knights, but we actually have a summoner that just spawned, and we're going to let them go because uh, they'll spawn in some enemies which we need for Combat Rain. Combat Rain's a little tight in this level. So after they spawn everything in and move to a better position, we will BFG to kill everything it just summoned and then more. All right. And that is a lot of Combat Rating right there. Okay, could you stop that? Thank you. Hold on, I just want to check my weapons real quick. Uh, we actually need... Okay. We need a lock-on. I forgot about that. Uh, it's okay. There's a summoner in... This is your favorite level to speedrun. Uh, hold on one second. I actually, I realized because I was low on lock-on, I will have to get one of those summoners. So we are, we are getting as much completion as possible, people. I apologize. Was my favorite level? Uh, I was said this a little bit. Uh, Bloodshot and Meta, feel free to answer too. But I actually like speedrunning Lazarus out of all things. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if we're talking 100%, probably Argent Noir, honestly. That's some really cool stuff in here. Yeah. I'm a big, um, I didn't, I didn't do much speed running this, but I did a lot of score runs. I think uh, Necropolis was one of my favorite levels. Mm. Uh, all good. I like Necropolis a lot for his combat, but that's about it. Uh, just Lazarus, I love the bunny hopping and the movement you can do, and when you get it right, it feels so right. Okay. Okay, there should be a summoner spawning in quite soon. And there we go, there's lock on Master. Nice. Yes, okay. Apologies for setting that up, but we will uh, keep this going. Uh, we actually have a very quick Mastery Gauntlet after this uh, section right here, because there's a few very easy Masteries that we did not do for the sake that we could just master them right here. Micro Missiles, we need to stick five demons with Micro Missiles in a short time. And Gatling Gunner, we have to kill five de uh, four demons in a quick succession time. Only once, not multiple times. So you will see us after I grab the secret right here. Uh, let me drop down. I'm gonna get a quick chainsaw because I'm quite low on shmammo. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Okay. We're inching close. Oh, incendiary rounds. Nice. We're also and inching close to that armor defensive. Uh, oh, yeah. I still need a few precision bolt ticks. Forgot about that. Uh, we'll get that later. Now, this is what we call liberation jump. Beautiful. Yes. You Very all nice. cannot tell, but I just came within like two inches of a death plane. <laughs> Uh, death planes are very rare in this game. It's primarily based off falling timers, but that's one of the few instances where there are death planes. Yeah, that's named the liberation jump because it will very happily liberate you from your ultra nightmare run. All right, this run, we have quad damage and a BFG. Yep. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's see. Music's... Where is this? There you are. It's always an imp. Okay. Or two. Or three? No way. Did I get it? Oh, that's very unfortunate. It's very rare, and I mean very rare, but sometimes that arena cannot finish because of some reason we do not know. Mm -hmm. I'm but assuming there must happened. be an enemy like clipped somewhere or something. Maybe an enemy out of and bounds that wants hey, to despawn. That's armor defensive done. There you go. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, I will do this to equip the Alpha Rune Rotation. Oh, which reminds me. Wait, I actually don't have Seek and Destroy. Um, missed that slightly. That's cool. All right, I'm going to take it real safe here and kill these revs a little slower, because if you kill them too quick, they can actually progress the wave m more than we intended, which is fast, but I think it's somewhat related to the soft lock. Mm. So instead, we're just going to BFG here. Uh, hold on. We got some free... Um, BFG here, which I will help myself to. Uh, fire. Cool. And there we, we are go. done. All right, I'm going to skip the stairs with a couple of Gauss boosts, and we made it. Beautiful. <sighs> so we need to destroy all three of these races in order to close the portal to hell, which, of course, we want them to try to stop us, because how else will we get combat rating? <laughs> Okay, um, need to get a couple precision bolt to excuse me, heavy cannon ticks. And I also need to master, hold on, let me just check, check real quick here, stun bomb and uh, precision bolt. Oh, so I was right with saying precision bolt. <laughs> There's a little bit of uh, criticism uh, that this level gets, because it doesn't quite have the mazy flow of the earlier levels, you know, like, like a surface and stuff like that, but... Mm -hmm. The, they're some of my faves because the point of it is really just about purity of the combat. It's like here's some some arena sandboxes. You got all the weapons. You got all the masteries. You've learned the game. So it, it, it's kind of like the just all about combat, going from giant kill box to giant kill box to flex. I mean, yeah, this is literally a um, a final uh, trip 
down, uh, you know, a final hurrah to get to the end and, you know, right. beat it's funny because the data, we're able to track what levels get played the most. And you know, everybody plays the levels that you think they would. There's so many good ones in 2016. But these actually get played, I believe, statistically the most. Yeah, I believe it's the same way in Eternal of Final Sin. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. just the, exactly. We, we built that the same exact way. It's like the level that if you're really good at the game, just turn it on and rip through it, slaughter everything, and you know, have, a, have a quick little 20, uh, 40 minutes of fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have uh, basically BFG'd that whole fight. That's that fight. Uh, but yeah, I can't say. I, I think the endings of all the Doom games are done remarkably well because they you know, cut it with all the crud and say, like, you just want to try to kill things as fast as possible, right? Also good toy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, we actually picked that up, so. It's still good, though. It is still good, yeah. <laughs> Best toy, maybe. I don't know. Actually, that's probably, that's the last one in the run, I think, right? Nope, there's no. one more. No. Okay. There, we have the last combat arena coming up where I have to get some tax scope ticks done. And we will first get this last door secret. You have stun bomb and precision bolt? Uh, I have precision bolt, not stun bomb. Also not tax scope. I will get that in this fight, though. There are plenty of good opportunities to get it. Uh, so yeah, this next fight, what we want to do basically is the little send off is we want to stay in a corner because they are, this encounter spawns in a lot of rush enemies that want to chase us down. So if we move around, they won't all be um, so nicely um, positioned for us. Just need two uh, more on those devastating yeah. rounds. One. Okay, and, chain oh. stun's completed. And we have and all our weapons mastered. Rounds. Nice. Cool. So that's all weapons, all runes. We just got to get those collectibles. Oh, wait. Seek and destroy. Oh, seek and destroy. Uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't buy B. I might have accidentally forgotten about that. It's okay. I'm fine. With the amount of curveballs that this run has thrown you, wow. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, and that's all the runes. Okay, so thank nice. goodness. Great job. <laughs> okay. All right, and so now we grab the quad damage, and we still have one challenge left in the run, which might be weird, uh, a little hard for some people, but there is a, uh, we have to kill two barons with one uh, single shot. However, the BFG does not count towards this. Oh my goodness, I'm getting delayed spawns from the imps. How'd this happen? Uh, okay, well, I, I normally quad damage all of them, and now I'm gonna have to think on my feet a little here. Uh, yeah, sometimes encounters can spawn delay. Uh, and then just spawn in imps, and until you kill them all, uh, the second wave won't spawn, which is just super unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it's the world. All right, so. One. Two. Oh, two. oh, oh I, oh, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> now I was sweating so much. Do we have time for a celebratory me. pun? Go ahead, Joker. This will be our last donation for the run. All right. We've got $10 from Eggy. I named my twin babies after this game, Ripley and Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, uh, gorgeous so, names. So we have closed the hell portal, and we have stopped the demonic invasion. So all the thing, everything we have to settle at this point is just a personal vendetta with Olivia, because she's still around. Also, <laughs> turns out, when it comes to Olivia, if you're expecting an ending, don't make a deal with demons. Likely, they won't hold up their part of the bargain. <laughs> and that's what she's going to learn right now. Simple story. <laughs> so, we had to really fight for the, top, for the cyber demon, you know, the first phase. Second phase was a little bit of wash. Hellguards had to fight the first phase. Second phase was to wash. Olivia has three phases, though. And we have to take her down. Uh, and, of course, our 
BFGs are best friends because, as we all know, it stands for the big friendly gun. Totally. Yeah. And five, four, three, two, one. Cool. All right. So now I'm going to try to stun lock her out of her second phase by giving her some micro missiles, which works. Cool. And now she's skipped her second phase. Now it's the third one. And finally, we're going to do one BFG to finish off the run. All right, I'm going to quickly check. We have all weapons mastered. Oh, I must have oh. missed. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. But uh, we get all the runes and codices. Nice, except great job. For, uh, except for one monster and the UAC personnel. But uh, I showcased a lot of the route, which is what I wanted to do here, as there was a lot of good things. So time will end as soon as I glory kill Olivia here. In three, two, one, time. Great job. Uh, this, Very impressive. This run is chaotic. There's a lot that go wrong. And some yeah. of the mistakes you see tonight are mistakes that I would reset over and over and over again. But I'm just glad I could showcase all the new changes and most of it for you all. Yeah, uh, a lot of change in four years. It's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot coming from the creative lead. Thank you. Uh, Meta, Bloodshot, you guys got any shout outs? Yeah, um, I mean, first of all, a massive shout out to uh, the MDSR community. That's the modern Doom um, speedrunning community. Uh, if you want to learn Doom 2016 100%, please come join our Discord. It's on the speedrun.com leaderboard. Uh, same thing with any of the other categories for Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal. It's all for one community. I would also love to give a huge shout out to our back couch here, who has been here to support us this entire time. Thank you for staying up until so late. <laughs> And a Bloodshot, anything you'd like to say? Uh, big thanks to the Doom developers, you know, all of them for making these cool games, and uh, of course to Hugo for coming on and staying so late with us to enjoy basically one of the coolest runs ever. Uh, Hugh, yeah, that is really awesome. Hugo, do you have anything you want to tell the people watching at home? Hey guys, thanks all of you, speedrunning community, people in the audience, people watching everywhere. Uh, we really appreciate all your support. Uh, we make these games for you, put a ton in them. So we find I find speed running really satisfying because you, you guys really dig into the details of the game. We really uh, do our best to fill it with as many details as we can. You guys don't miss a beat. Uh, you meticulously go through it all, and it's very satisfying to see uh, when the audience puts so much into what you spent so much uh, time and energy making. What we do it for, we do it for you guys, and uh, thank you so much again. Thank you. For all the Let's get one more round for developers interacting with speedrunning. Absolutely. Yeah. I just want to say, personally, because Hugo's here, thank you for helping the dev team and all the developers, basically making games that are super fun to speedrun. Uh, last couple years, mentally, have been not too good for me. Uh, and speedrunning has been a good way to escape from that and focus on something and drive all that negative energy into something I'm passionate about and like a lot. And to be able to uh, showcase the same run that arguably got me into FPS speedrunning, it, uh, it means a lot. So That's awesome, man. You, you at home, you so Hugo, Meta, Bloodshot, everyone in the crowd, I appreciate all of you. And, great job, buddy. <laughs> and without saying, it needs, this, this doesn't need saying, but I'll say it anyways, rip and tear. Rip and tear. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Until Have a good done. one. Donate right, to charity. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> see you.